Hey. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome. It's stream day. It's stream time. You guys ready for stream? Hi. So we have a top, we have a double stream today. Two pieces of content happening. Um, the first one is an FMV game. I don't think I've actually streamed FMV games very much, if at all. Uh, but this one was recommended to me by my good friend Kiwo. Uh, she basically has forced me at gunpoint to play this game right now. Um, and has promised me that it's going to be uh, really, really good. So, um, I, I, yes, yes, please and thank you. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, it does look very fun and actually up my alley, so I'm excited. Um, and then after that, I'm going to be playing Guilty Gear Strive. I know, surprising, for a sponsorship uh, with none other than Boone. So Boone's going to be joining me and kicking my ass for like two hours straight in Guilty Gear um, while I, I guess, talk with him about things. So that is, uh, isn't Boone like really good? Yeah. And I, I asked him to play because I like him and like hanging out with him. But he didn't tell me that he doesn't know how to like teach people games or go easy on them. He just goes full tilt all the time. So it's just going to be me losing for two hours. Uh, but, you know, people are into that. So that's what we're doing. Um, but that'll be later tonight in about three, three to four hours maybe. Uh, until then, we're going to try this game not for broadcast. I don't really know much about it. I've tried to stay pretty ignorant. Um, it's basically, from my understanding, going to be a game where we're trying to censor anything that's on the airways that is a little uh, risque, a little, a little too much for the audience, you know? And uh, it's, it's going to be, it's, I think the important thing is we're cleaning up the air, you know? And we're making sure that all streams are safe for people of all, you know, persuasions to watch. And so I think it's going to be a really wholesome time, you know? Yeah. So Hypnospace Outlaw, I think similar vibe to Hypnospace. If I had to guess, again, I don't really know much about it. But it is an FMV game, which is goofy. And based on the opening, Good evening, I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Jones. Our main headlines tonight. Studying starting! Get every single one of you's a bit Jesus. Um. What a wild ride this has been. I'm overwhelmed. Well, that's a very blunt. Is this a scary question. game? It might be. Is lying to you. It seems like it. Do I want to name myself Craig? Um, sure. And have confidence that the team will keep you safe. J Money, thank you for the 34 months. You look like you're about to cry. Viewer loss. How do I turn it off? I don't want my. I don't want to lose viewers. Please. They're leaving. We're still vassal slave slaves. We're just in prettier cages. Oh my goodness. We're only getting started. Do I mess with I'm any of these? And I'm German. Viewer I'm loss German. high. Nuh uh. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I won't. I won't mess with it. Content warning. No, 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 no. We don't need that, right? You guys, it'll be okay. Well, that's a very blunt. And Frago, thank you for the 34 months. Looking forward to another month of decadence. Thank you. All right, are we just gonna jump right in? And have confidence that the team will keep you safe. Surely this game will be topical in any way. I mean, it's British, so they're out of touch already, you know? I think we'll be okay. Alright. I'm not believing you, 
Damn right. <laughs> Intern, wait, story mode, intern, broadcaster, showrunner. Now I consider myself a showrunner. We're still vassal slave slaves, we're just in prettier cages. Viewers, stop watching quicker. Wait, I don't want that. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna wait till... Kiwa, which one do I do? She, she's, she's the one that told me to play this game. I will, I will listen to her advice. Are we... I don't want, I'm not an intern. I'm either a broadcaster or a showrunner. You do story? What a wild ride this has been. You're our intern. Well, that's a very blunt. I mean, if there is a setting that makes the viewers leave. Alright, I'll do broadcaster. I'll do broadcaster. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> That's all coming up on tonight's FMB night. National nightly news. You can see it's very British. You see the guy's teeth? What? I'm allowed to make fun of British people. I'm a <laughs> what was that last frame? I'm allowed to make fun of British people. Yeah, I have British friends. It's fine. Turn right. Oh shit, it's like Five Nights Freddy! Oh. Hi David, I have a call for you, I'm just putting it through. Alright mate, Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're gonna have to run the news tonight. Now don't worry, it's not hard and I'm gonna stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That colored bar is your audience. You want yeah. to keep the viewers going up and not down. Yeah. Underneath yeah. that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's yeah. what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's yeah. the one you control. Now, okay. the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And yeah. you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom Ooh. left. Okay. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch the and we're British in plugs. business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. There Crazy Neil. Adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Machines to the right. Machines to the right. One. Come to Bumley. My salad weekly. Exercise with ham sleeves. Right. Won't be long now till the signal starts coming through from the station. Stay on your toes. All the bigwigs are in tonight because of the election. So we better not make any mistakes. With multiple award winning movies. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Oh, pouring a mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah, don't see if it makes me go out in the past. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Wait! Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh. Going in five. When do four. I? Oh, come on. now. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is okay, tonight. thank God. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. Yeah. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. Sorry. Ah! Honest Andy's totally independent. Sorry. And corners the flawed market. <laughs> I missed the countdown. Yeah. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Ham's leaves win Sports Personality of the Year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters 
to hear what the leaders of Wait, this eight, party have seven, to say on their historic. Gonna come over here. Yes! Wait. Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Now, <laughs> lovely mate. But first, the votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing or your scroll wheel to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual interference and of being deliberately vague. And of being the opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear. Okay, public. I'm liking this. However, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's for real. Right, it's going well. All you gotta do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early. Where? Oh! Is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. It's when it says zero. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to fill after the ads. What? Why? Ranker Snatch is running late. What? Well, why? Ask him about the election. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we used with you. I thought that was our little secret. Jeremy looks like he's 22. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Mm, love you too. Yeah. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, mate. But this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This oh. next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. Okay. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing it. Oh, the fuck. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Okay, I know how to do this. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience wants to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules. We're at the French Coat thing for 10 months. I also have to read chat during all this. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. We're coming back from the break. Okay, okay. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. We got it. You want it. You want it. We got it. You want it. You got it. Five, four, three. Crazy Neil. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners advance. But first, I'm ready to go to Megan on screen four. Is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan. Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she it's says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter at The Rat, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful jazz. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I said to Peter... What a wild ride this has been. What a wild and do you know what, Megan? This has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last I'm killing this. When I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love. <laughs> a love, of course, 
for freedom. Love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan. This is fun. Not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't it? Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving, suffering for one's audience. Suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people. The Been on that show a bit long. Shut up! But most of all, I think I do it for the positive most change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Shit, he said it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Which opens next week. Right, I've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm killing it. In the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle oh, yeah. mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging. Rings. The fuck? You think I don't know? I didn't that. sign up for this. Now we're gonna squash the frequency back by dragging left. No one has been mustn't. Dr. Lance, to you, Miss Flanagan. Oh no. Jubbly, mate. You, baby. Jubbly, so we're mate. Change the amplitude. Same as last time. Little joystick or hold alt to a middle mouse and this time push upwards. Upwards, mate. Upwards. But I didn't listen. I, I am. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all right, true. now let's match it back by going downwards. Sterility. This formula. This formula. This, this is the key. Oh. Yes. Bloody perfect, mate. Oh. We have to ask ourselves. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. Okay. Is there a uh, somewhere I should put my webcam, guys, or is this fine? Right. I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen here. here is about two seconds behind the master screen. Do here. here, when someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. Good. 
You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through So censoring is only for the live feed, right? Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. from the coast, and with more than two areas of outstanding natural interest, isn't it time you're found? Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. One to four. Oh, great. Seriously, had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to advance headquarters I'm told we can now where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Oh shit, he's pissed. Get ready to bleed. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Oh no. Thank you. Where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. For you, the people. No, you totally you missed that. Right. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than the grown is funny. Memorably put. Perfect. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future, a better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. Before oh. we came to the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets My bad. Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth Remember into the, the million. You know the sort of probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals. What's what are they saying? To properly fund health and education, to raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions, but you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours. That's absolute. So to you posh twats, the people who pay you a pittance to serve them drink from their private clubs. Sorry! You raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Yay! I'm so good at this job. Interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of Advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. I'm fucking with him. It's okay. That's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under Advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm night. Have a peaceful and we're night. Right, looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. Ooh. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. What? This is some weird. Hey, I got the job. Am I dying now?
you should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'm not coming for a drink. No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Build your collection week by week. Broadcast complete. When the program's finished, you'll get a broadcast report. It's three pages. This first page shows you how well the broadcast went. Each sequence and an overall grade. Remember, grades mean bonuses and they keep the boss happy. If you want to know more about how it went, select more info. If not, select continue to move to the next page. Right, this is an optional section for when you really want to understand what happened during the show. You got graphed here showing you what the audience did. They're a fickle fuck. All offensive words were censored. Really drilling the details if you Adequately want to edited. Making TV. So what's the big deal? Why why to get an E for this? Whatever, man. Right, this is the important page. It tells you how much you're going to get paid and how much wealth you have overall. That bollocks at the bottom shows you the financial state of our main advertisers. But you don't own any fucking shares. You're a cleaner, for God's sake. So why would you care? Okay. This is the last page, and it tells you the state of the world. Tells you how well the government's doing. And down the bottom there, this one's important. Tells you what Channel One currently thinks of you. Ooh. He loves me. Great. All right, mate. Welcome to the archive. This is where you can have a quick look back at what you've done and how it looked to the public. There's three sections, broadcast, rushes, and adverts. Let's start with broadcast. Click on it now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind and the fast forward at the bottom there to help you get to the- Oh, that's cool. Seat. So you can rewatch the things you already cut. In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. So if you want to like, get more of the story, you can probably up later on tonight on Channel One. Watch it back at seven o'clock. It's I want to see when I fucked up. on the toilet. We can do you a <laughs> Later we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first our very own culture reporter Megan Wolf is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan oh, Wolf, I killed it on this segment. Correspondent. And today I have a guest. Pull up a share, guys. This part, from this is real, this is content. Shopbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. Look how good this is. I hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among <laughs> the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> Bless you. So you've just finished filming your latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at The Wrap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? This He's looks professionally done. Chap. He really is. <laughs> when he cuts I've her off. with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? It's I'm good! A, a scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? <laughs> but seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my the last panic in her eyes. starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that's <laughs> a love, of course, for freedom. I fucked up on the bleeping a lot. on the taint we've got a big pet the shots and, and after a long day exploring Bombly, you can relax in comfort in one of two communal tents or you could take advantage one of, of two non communal tents there's a radio in the calf or on fridays we gather to watch tramps fight come on harold you scruffy old meth head 
only 85 minutes from the coast, and with more than two areas of outstanding natural interest. Isn't it time your family went Bumley way? And hey, if you come in the dry season, you've got a car park. St. Bumley, on the taint, naturally. St. Bumley on the taint. Oh my god. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you all for coming. <laughs> where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty I was still learning. down lying southern bastard trick they had against us. You, the people, you saw right through their I'm sorry about the language <laughs> there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than the grownest Memorably put. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that Advance are not a political party. A party's what you have when things are going So it well. seems like... When the country if we want to get the story, we have to rewatch for the main, you need main a team. most part. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. All right. Right. Click let's on give the it a shot. And let's have a look at those. Right. This is the rushes room. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see, they're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio during the actual broadcast. Difference is you can mute any combination of so you can have a listen to the stuff you weren't allowed to show. Oh. So the broadcast and give it a go. And when That's you're cool. done listening to the backstage secrets, hit back. So if I play this, and I want to, like, focus on one of them. Apparently he's been drinking since lunchtime. Christ, he's a liability in the best of times. I know. God help whoever has to bleep this. Ten seconds, everybody. Me. I mean, a lawyer and a TV personality running the country. Seriously. We've had worse. Five, four, three. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. I want to see what he does. Can I, like, full screen this? I nearly hit the source this one. It's so green. Nice one, Jeremy. Now what? Continue. I want to see the next level. Oh. You arrive home to find posts on the mat, most being nothing more than the usual junk mail. One letter however catches your eye. The team wants to know you. Curiosity gets the better of you and you open it. I am still broke ass poor. It's a form from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled in already. Your name, Alex Winston. Your spouse, Sam Winston. Your children, Charles Winston. And Susie Winston. Well, you means at least they got the basics right. The rest of the questions are left for you to complete. They appear to be mandatory. Upon starting a new job, you would... Um, be friendly and introduce yourself to your new coworkers. A colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Now a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would, uh, recommend that your colleague reports it. An entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. You would, um, Stay late to ensure you hit the first deadline. Well, 
Hold on, wait. This is the this is the government that sent me this. Um, I'm gonna go to the pub because the, the government guy was drunk. It's the annual company barbecue. You and your family have been invited. You are washing your hair that day. Go if you're free, but wouldn't mind missing it. I've been practicing with your coworkers and think you'll win the talent contest. You've had a long, successful career and they're now about to retire. In your speech, you refuse to attend. I'm playing it safe. In your spare time, you like to relax alone, attend political rallies. Encourage you to support your children with their hobbies. That one. Your ideal holiday getaway would be natural beauty, something unfamiliar, a structured day out of a theme park. Sounds fun. It's more important that the government keeps people safe, free, happy, equal. Um, free! Thank you for your cooperation. Advance knows your time is valuable. We appreciate your help in leading the nation to a brighter future. Typical American answer? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm playing a British game. You're drying up a favorite coffee cup, a worn out souvenir of your first trip together. The prince fades, but the goof of his face still makes you smile. There in the garden clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let him in, they sit at the kitchen table visibly stressed. So sorry for bursting in late, Alex, Chris stammers, but I need to favor it, and you're the only one I can ask. What's going on? I've just seen all this crazy advanced stuff. The Assets and Wealth Act, they're calling it. Taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy is bullshit. Uh-oh. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money, Chris adds hastily, but they can afford it. People like me, we're going to lose everything. I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound so bad. Chris's eyes flash dangerously. You can't possibly be that naive. They're taking whatever they want and distributing it as they see fit. No government should have that kind of power. Look, that's not why I'm here. I need to borrow your passport. What? They've taken mine in half the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look similar. Coke, thank you for the 27 months. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, and I need to go now before they freeze my accounts. Surely there's another way. Chris's mouth falls open. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you and Sam. I've treated your children like they are my own. We're family. That's against the law. Fine, I'll sell this myself. Chris spits. So much for family loyalty, eh? Grabbing the nion fluorescent suitcase, Chris disappears in the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. Damn. That's illegal. Oh boy. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Yo, Dave! Right, 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 right. Should we play this? Is this toy safe? I'm sure it is. Juste de conchant. Alan James. Alan James is coming soon to a medium-sized hall near you. Okay. Right, you can see they 
finally got the old headline system up and working again, and the vision mix is already in headline mode because headlines always come at the start. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons at the bottom of the vision mixer, you can see they now have A and B on them. And they're to help you pick image A on the left bottom screen here, or image B on the right bottom screen mm -hmm. here. It's really simple. This little clock here will count down the number of seconds you have to make your decision. Provided you make a decision in that time, you're fine. And you can change your mind as much as you want until the clock reaches zero. But if you don't make any decision, you'll be fired before you even get to make another choice. Oh, shit. I just want to say one more thing, mate. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them. And that's going to affect their lives. So like with the adverts, oh my God. choose carefully. Does this channel if you think dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Hmm. Not the best source of confusion. She is June. Thank you for the year-long resub. Happy one explodes, year. Going in five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight: destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this chart. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the assets and wealth act on the brink of raising living standards for the vast majority of the country, is that a bad one? My guess. He looks on the way to insane. Out with the old, Remington Fisk have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive. Gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at the tender age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Sophia Remington has always impressed. She was top of her class at university and graduated with the highest honors, immediately being asked back to lecture. The markets have responded favorably to Sophia's appointment, with stocks rising 30 points in light of the announcement. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehouse. Sophia promises it'll be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety, making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong, a marine biologist Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensford, have today set off to explore Dante's taint. The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable. But thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. This is, of course, only the latest... The other one seemed funnier, but I don't think they want funny right now. ...this unlikely pairing. In a joint statement about the dangers their team might face, the pair stated, We will face the plentiful challenges together like we always have. I'm trying to gain the context before I cut to it, you know? Rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves oh, is fuck. leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported okay. by this very... It's a good thing. Johnny is seen here with socialite and performance artist Tiffany Lamar, Oof. whose recent show Snatched Inside, Inside My Snatch. I am the media, I have the power. In the public eye. You think? Could romance be on the cards for these two budding anisters? And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, oh, fuck. how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal justice system from every perspective. With more and more powers passing to the police and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega morph for the group of young actors already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Yes! Yeah! What? Oh, fuck. Wait. That was a good cut, though, wasn't it? All right, let's fucking go. I'm ready. I'm in. Think of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act. We're talking about Advance's first. Who was that? Why was that on? What the new future holds. I'm being sabotaged. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of 
Alan James is right. The free man's guide to waking up. <laughs> Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realised that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Grand plan, Alan? It's all in my book. Alan James is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great herd. Ignorant, sterile and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realised that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll excuse the colourful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Do we get censored? The overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is... Shamelessly self-promoting? Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And this will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno-brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! But what this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that these are the same people. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilised the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilise, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. Stop! Pedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Franken Science and Opie Arts. <laughs> like opiates. Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals, they're pumping it full of belief juice. Don't get me wrong, I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, uh, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. One you know, back. I think they might do some good. Go! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that was my sign. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, no, wait. This was the scary ad, right? Alan, I can explain it to you, but unfortunately, I can't understand it for you. Well, I don't know what she meant by that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the clock at the top. I'm just saying I'll do what I can, that's all. Oh shit, you will. She's good, you know she is. I've said I better word in, that's all I can do. Ten seconds, everybody. This game's crazy. If that sticks, I'll just... I've never seen a game that uses the skill set that I actually have developed playing, you know, stream my whole life. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advance have already tasked what they are what? calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system Fuck. every day. How do I go up? First up I forget how to go up! 
Sorry, no! Wait! Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with the demand, uh -oh. Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done oh, no. at a systemic level to relieve the problem. We need more support from ministers. We We need change at a structural level. I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Not a good oh, time, no. Darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. It never is, is it? Just hang on. Just hang on. No, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Jack. We need. Uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving? Can I have a moment? Yes, I uh, totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. I'm joined by Police Chief <laughs> Smug Face. A man with a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? Oh, I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long I don't like this part. I don't like this part. Safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally... I disable this feature? ...without the risk of being terrorized by some thug with a knife. You can turn that part off? So you feel the streets How? simply aren't safe anymore? Well... How? I think it, it distracts from the, the actual good parts of the game. Uh, advanced settings? Interference. Make it custom. I'm gonna force you fuckers to stick to stick around. Viewer loss easy. Hardcore mode. Snuggle hugs. Alter or disable the attacking toys. All right. I wish I hadn't seen that. Um, that's fine. We'll just keep going. We got wrong, Bob. Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it is in this once great country. <laughs> also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have found hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Huh? Leviticus clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, your bloody gimps escaped. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Delia, could you give me a little help, please? As I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Oh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh, in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Back in, back in your gym space. And you whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is certainly not the responsibility of the decent, good, white... Guys, it's, it's England. It's England. Oh, hold on just a moment. Oh, Clive! <laughs> Clive, I am not having this again. As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal, no one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there, <laughs> we're locking down the police's position on morality for us. <clears throat> Hopefully uninterrupted, it's time to get to the heart of the matter. Shit. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swamp. To talk to us, which is also, I believe, his birthday. His birthday! Happy returns, Tony. Happy Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? <laughs> Titwank Tony. Hey! Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but 
It's a constant battle against institutionalisation, as you can imagine, and obviously titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. OK, well, we're trying to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony. Way! Way! I don't think it's as easy as that, Jen. Sorry, <laughs> I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris, oi, oi. little Chris, oi, oi. and Vampire Chris. <laughs> oh shit. This one's, yeah. Yep. One sec, love. Shit, when Kelly's on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It's safe. It seems like we've caught you at a bad time. Little boy. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. fucking way, lad. Believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we... Yes, Tony. Tony, I mean, we're literally in two seconds. How does this happen, Tony? Can you hear me? Seems to have lost our train of thought, though, a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. <laughs> Megan will be live with some lucky young Caspians. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back, everybody. Whoa! Well, well, Let's go, man. I'm bad at rhythm games. That's not true. Ten seconds, everybody. Number two. Got it. Welcome to Black. I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with Welcome one of the first Black. beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Oh my Welcome God. to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> and we're joking. The Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria, and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately, I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so, so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra. Maths teacher. Yeah. Maths Jeff really Algebra. Important. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. Really yeah, it's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools, the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences, and they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. <laughs> we just want to bring a bit of soul <laughs> to people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Shit. That's right. Put into context, 
I play a young first Fuck. Year who's having some troubles at school. I fucked that up, guys. I'm so sorry. Doesn't actually have a name, yeah, because in a way she's like all of us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like maybe she's you, Megan. That's is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it. That way. <clears throat> So, Jeff, when did you first hear about the This is manic. Days ago, a letter from advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. How? How did you react? I also threw it in the bin. But then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic, mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day. And so we thought, uh, why not? Let's have a go with this old democracy thing. OK. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. So let's have a look at a short section of... Fuck! No! He, sl he slipped it in. I didn't expect it. Dear diary, Dear diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. But still I walk the corridors alone. But still I walk the corridors alone. alone. <laughs> what might be around every corner. <laughs> What's around the corner? Oh my What's god. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi, Gary. <laughs> Where the fuck oh, am I cutting? No, it's Gary the Fist. Oh, no. Gary, Gary the Fist. Going somewhere, little first year. Going Great. First I've been looking for some poor Great. victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse me. I'm late for maths. It's my favorite subject. I'm, I'm, so I'm so important. Maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck, Matt coach. Keep going, for fuck's sake. Right. Uh, Keep going. Uh, uh, maths is for losers. Now, uh, give me your lunch losers. money. Now, Double lunch, lunch for me today, but Double why am I only truly today? happy when I'm eating? Why am I only truly happy when not I'm today, eating? Gary the Fist. Not today. What Gary do you mean, not fist. today? Who are you? What do you mean, not today? My arm's free, coach. Brilliant. Keep going. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. I don't know where they're coming from. I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Oh, fuck. Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face. I could be you. She could be you. And you could be me. What? That was a good cut. What do you mean? Here we go. Hey, kids, I'm 
Gary the Fist. People think the folks like me probably shouldn't exist. But that's just prejudice. And I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary the Fist. All right, I get it now. I grew up on a council estate. The park was hip, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come home drunk and late, and he'd hit my mum for dinner. He had to wait. Oh, where's my dinner? Oh, it's not ready. Oh, where's my dinner? Oh, Go. Don't make me ask you again. Hitting women. Is wrong. <laughs> I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. 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 Thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh. Brilliant. What the literal fuck was that? That was art. Oh, it's Alan James. But doesn't make it so. I have a similar belief about an adequate paycheck. Friendship! Oh, someone please get these twats out of my studio. They must be something in the films! I don't want to upset them, but you should weep for the world. This game is great. I love this. Are you guys having fun? And I don't mean to shock you, but you need to wake up! I'm Alan James, and I'll slap you so hard with the truth, you'll still be picking facts out of your face the following Wednesday. James, coming to a city near you. Check local press for dates and time. Uh, hey. Hey, that's pretty good. This one didn't go great. This was when, because of the issues with the thing. I'm still broke, but we're getting better. I want to see the, that segment. On Channel One, kicking off our evening schedule is a retrospective of the best moments from Peter Clements' "Just the Job." I don't think Bruckett said any of the song audio. What do you mean? Life's pretty hard on a council estate. Yeah, this part I fucked up a bit. Um, so what are these things? Human-like voice to keep them company when you can't. If you keep me happy, I'll keep you safe. And his incredible real action eyes. I hope your mommy and daddy don't die in a fire. It's no wonder Mr. Snuggle oh, hugs is the gift your child wants this Christmas. All the other kids have got one. That's right, little one. You don't want to be left out. I only like people who have me as their friend. Oh, Mr. Snuggle hugs, you're so silly. <laughs> Mr. Snuggle hugs in stores now and selling out fast. Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Oh yeah, this was the, I fucked this up.
kids who are responsible. <laughs> Back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really think you should go with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh. in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Back, you go. back in your gift space. And Off you go. whose responsibility is it to make a change, Bob? Well, it is in certainly the not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people. Darling, where's the padlock? Oh, oh, hold on God. just a moment. Oh, Clive, this simply won't do. Naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Mummy said get Clive, in your Clive, I am not having this she? again. Mummy said get back in your kids' face. <laughs> naughty, you beast, Clive. You As I was saying, Jeremy, moral decay. Sit. Crime sit, is the responsibility sit. of the criminal. Sit. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. <laughs> Will you locking down the police's position on morality force? In you are. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. Okay, this bit was actually Tony good. Dawson has recently been released from prison. After serving three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swap. To talk to us today. <laughs> oh, he fucked that part up. His birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me t Tony. Everybody else does. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell us what it's I like miss. in prison, Tony? <laughs> I missed the important hey! part. Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but Way! it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, Titwats are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Tit Tony. Hooray! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit Tony! <laughs> I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. Soapen! I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find... I love his voice. Yeah, I, they picked the such a good in. guy hey, for Chris. this. Oi, oi. Little Chris. Oi, oi. And vampire Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this one's, yeah? Yep. One sec, love. Tony's on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. So, fun. so do you feel tempted to. I'm sorry, who's this so guy? You are joking. Chrissy <laughs> Free has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. <laughs> not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It's so <laughs> It seems like we've caught you at a Hi. bad time. The little boy. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal here, no. Tony. Wait, let's believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we. Yes, Tony. Tony, I mean, we're literally away for two seconds. How does this happen, Tony? Can you hear me? Seem to have lost our train of thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. <laughs> Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back <laughs> after these messages. Well, I mean <laughs> <laughs> All right, I screwed up a little bit. Why bother strengthening your body, body. when you can strengthen your face. face. We believe your skin deserves the best. This. So the new formula. I love this game. The humor is fucking on point. Your skin. The high salt content actually pulls the dihydrogen monoxide right from your pores to give you the crisp, brittle skin you've come to expect. The new Jus de Cochon will revitalize the appearance of the strength of your face's skin. 41% of women we surveyed said they loved their visible plates. And seven out of ten dentists would recommend it. She okay? Judica Sean, because we said so. Welcome to Black. I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Welcome Scott, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, 
friendship on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley-Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. <laughs> let's just watch the their show again. Are you guys ready for the... I don't know if it's even secondhand cringe. It's kind of firsthand, isn't it? Oh, it's Ari, you're right. Maps is really important. Dear diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. Fears. But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. <laughs> dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. Oh heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Gary, Gary the, the Fist! fist. Going somewhere, little first year? Great. I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. And so important. Uh, maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going, <laughs> sake. Right, uh... Uh, maths is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Oh, right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all <laughs> alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but, I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. All right, let me know how, how good I did here. Take a look at me, take a little look at my face, I could be you, she could be you, and you could be me, or you could be me, life can be cheeky. choice to remain so, so stop now make a different choice hmm hey listen up I won't take no crap who said middle class girls can't rap I ain't afraid of your cool 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 I'm a mother loving rebel but I still love, love me Kids, I'm Gary the Fist. People think that folks like me probably shouldn't exist. But that's just prejudice. And I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary, Gary the Fist. I grew up on a council estate. The park was hip, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come home drunk and late. And he'd hit my mum for dinner. He had to wait. Who oh, was my dinner? Oh. <laughs> Hitting women is wrong. <laughs> I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. Life's, life's pretty, pretty hard, hard on a council estate. estate. Life's pretty, life's pretty hard, hard on a council estate. estate. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. Life's pretty hard on a council estate. 
That's my favorite cut. Just work as a team. It's your choice to be me. It's my choice. So stop now. Make a different choice. Listen to that inner voice. Friendship! Yes! <laughs> well, thankfully that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. <laughs> Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. This game's great. All right, I'm excited to see where we go next. What's a council state? I think it's like a state um, subsidized uh, housing. So, like, for low-income families. Drive home after another long shift to find a note waiting for you on the countertop. You recognize Sam's hurried scrawl. Chris has been evicted for not paying rent. You know where this is headed. Sam's gone to pick up Chris's stuff from the street. Don't wait up. Underline twice. So this was your fault now, is it? You sulkily press play on a cheap horror film you were going to watch together. It used to be absolutely terrified you as a kid, but always makes the two of you laugh. Aww. Just to get to a good bit, the part where Candy decides to investigate alone, your 14-year-old son interrupts. He wants to go to a friend's house. He looks at you in a way only a child can, pleading but somehow defiant. Yeah, sure, go for it, kid. You're really surp surprised, he practically races out the door. You doze in front of the movie, waiting for his return. You start awake, the sound of TV static. It's gone midnight, there's no sign of Charlie or Sam. Let's go find him. You may think you were born yesterday, but at least he apologizes. That's something. Okay, at least my son's not dead. And I've been doing this a while. A tight Christmas. Can't help but crack a smile as you look around around the table. The snow has settled on the grass outside. The kids are pulling a cracker while your elderly mother tries to keep her eyes open. You did always have a soft spot for Christmas. It's been a tense afternoon. Everyone can feel it. It's the first time you've seen Chris since he refused to part with your passport. It's a big change for Sam. The two siblings used to be inseparable. The clatter of cutlery is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointedly at you. Make a toast! Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm glad we're all here. There are Murmurs of cheers and much clinking of glasses. Chris doesn't move. Yeah, we're all here. No thanks to you. Oh, Chris! Chris, I Sam, come on now. It's Christmas. Can we, can we put that behind us? Let's try and enjoy ourselves. Chris turns away from you, taking some frustration out of it on a cheap cut roast chicken. Your daughter, Susie, sees the opportunity to corner you. You know how you love me. You chuckle. This sounds familiar. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Susie rolls her eyes. You know, me and my friends are planning on going traveling this year. Well, I was hoping you'd help me with the money. Just interrupted by Chris, who makes a der derisive snort. I wouldn't hold your breath, Susie. Not known for your generosity, are you, Alex? Ignoring Chris, you smile at your daughter. We'll see We'll see so many parts of the world and learn so much about other cultures, Susie gushes. You sigh and lower your voice. You know money's really tight now that Grandma's staying here. You just don't have that kind of money, Susie. But please, Harriet's parents are helping her. I'll find a way to make it work. Same interrupt. Sorry, were you going to consult me on this or are you going to just carry on pretending I don't exist? There wasn't an option, Sam! You feel your cheeks flush red and turn away so Chris can't see. You know you haven't been the most attentive lately, but this rebuke seat still seems harsh. Sam exhales and seems to brighten, but lucky for someone, I agree, it's a great opportunity and I'm sure we can find some money somewhere. Charlie excuses himself awkwardly as you start to clear the plates in silence. You had a nice birthday, Pat. Your mother chimes in cheerfully. Merry fucking Christmas. I gotta, I gotta, 
I gotta kill it, guys. We gotta do well. We're leaping through a pile of accumulated posts. Each new bill put pulls on your gut like a lead weight until a flash of blue makes you pause. Recognizing the teal, advance logo on the envelope and tear it open. Dear Winston residents, thank you for sending us your passports for approval. We are now confirming that receipts and validation of the new assets and wealth redemption scheme. As such, it is our pleasure to enclose a check, which we hope you see as a symbol not only of our gratitude to you, but of our unwavering commitment to creating a society free of inequality. The, throb the throbbing of your fresh speed-induced paper cut is the only reason you can believe you're awake. Yeah. Chris was right. Advance really are redistributing well. You will continue to strive for betterment of this nation and its people. Government gave me money. Why does the zip on this damn case never close? It's your anniversary. Every year you and Sam go away for the weekend, usually camping. You're not made of money. You've been looking forward to this for ages, finally getting some time alone together where you could forget about the noise of life. No kids, no work, just a bit of romance, just peace and quiet. The zip finally gives up the battle and you drag the bulging suitcase down the stairs. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Bozeman. I'm calling to inform you that you will be required to work this weekend. Some information has come light concerning the rising tensions between our nation and foreign powers and the national night news team will be working around the clock to ensure that we break the news first. Needless to say, I'll expect your attendance tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Have a pleasant evening. Oh. Sam comes downstairs, bring me the excitement, kiss you, and grab the car keys from the dish and start to load your bags in the back. Family comes first. Ignore the message. A message deleted. What was that? Oh, comes a voice from behind you. Nothing important. You reply as you put on your coat, adrenaline coursing through your body, grabbing Sam around the waist, practically slamming the front door. Uh oh. You get to work Monday morning. You get some sour looks from your exhausted colleagues. A note waits for you. Back to the script is blood red. I am very disappointed, Winston. Was it worth it? That's okay. Oh god. And we didn't get fired, so. Your son Charlie hovers at your elbow as you read. Do you find yourself striving to achieve? Are you an active member of the team? Do you like reaping the benefits of cooperation? Join the advanced go getters to get today. This doesn't sound like the youth club we told you about. He grabs the flyer and thrusts a form in your hand. So I can walk there straight from school and Ben's sister can drop us home after. I mean, government gave me money. Mm. Go get him a sport. Your son is thrilled. It's heartwarming to see him passionate about becoming an active part of the community. Indoctrination time. Yeah. You know, life experiences are good for kids. Oh, Alan James. Some guys at work gave them to me. They can't go. Sam stands in front of you, bringing the two tickets. You see the title in bold letters. Alan James is right in front of you. I'm really sure. What do you think? Shall we go? I don't think so. He's a nut job. Thank God I was worried you were going to say yes. You decided to stay and eat pizza. Hell yeah! After a particularly long day at work, you come home to find the post sorted into piles, as Sam has taken into doing recently. Most of it is usual rubbish, but a letter with increasingly familiar advanced logo and urgent respond immediately plastered on the front as correspondence grabs your attention. Dear Winston residents, the letters inform you that the advanced government has taken another step towards our fight for equality by, rational, by nationalizing the largest private corporations and redistributing their res resources among the citizens of this great country. The Partnerships Bonds Program ensures that wealth created by the people is delivered to the people. Huh. Every house will become a part of one partner in one of three carefully selected institutions chosen by advance for consistent high performance and financial security. Uh, all returns are based on public opinion and cannot be guaranteed. Eye of the Beholder, Incorporated, whether it's cosmetics, clothing, or couture, couture, we 
we see the couture. We see the beauty in all customers. Neil's Deals Limited. It's always a steal from Crazy Neil. Pleasure Corp. Our business is your pleasure from sports, travel, or even just you time. I'll leave a deal. But now I can play Neil ads. We're going to make sure Neil, we're going to ride Neil to the moon, I think. That wouldn't be ethical. Eh, who would know, you know? Yo. Good evening, Alex. It's Boozman here. Uh-oh. Your boss. <gasps> saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky over you. I don't know why I talked to you. It probably is a really awful date. Ten seconds, everybody. Like I said, all of you. Did your personality accidentally slip out? Pricks. Going in five, four, three. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Dawson. And I'm Megan Wolf. I didn't know which one was going to talk first. Tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Sforsborg and Horgensbord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two I don't know the difference. Options. With two of the finest minds in science I can't tell. Together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. Without enough engineers to successfully fix their craft, the team seem likely to attempt to farm the cavern's ecosystem while they wait for rescue from above ground. <laughs> I think I'll stick to risotto, Jeremy. <laughs> Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier today when this new protest group first presented themselves. <laughs> it might seem amusing to us, but clearly this formerly overprivileged section of our society is not adjusting well to the new future. It's often too easy to forget that not every citizen is thriving under the What? What is going on? Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour were spotted having a private moment out at lunch today. The popular couple have certainly been on a roller coaster since they started dating late last year. And this image is sure to play some... Why was the pirate AI talking? Johnny's secretive hospital visits have had the rumor mill churning. The I app isn't running for me. That they're not looking at a school report. Is this one celebrated role model about to become the... I'm going to I, I mean, need to focus. And onwards and upwards. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Remington's Fist CEO, Sophia Remington, today announced a brand new product that already has the markets buzzing with interest. This groundbreaking product came as quite a shock when it was revealed earlier today, though its critics are skeptical that the young CEO can fulfill her promises. When only a flawed will do, you need the Flawed Master 5000. That's the slogan accompanying the announcement that has rocked the construction industry this morning. The breakthrough device for aiding in installation is sure to change the way we see the humble flood. With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later. And our very own Patrick Bannon coming to you live from the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National Nightly News. Yes! I don't know they're going to talk together. Wait, is it sports? Oh no.
first tonight, after the Christmas horror caused by Mr. Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock, like so many of those affected by the Christmas bloodbath, has spent the last three months undergoing a series of reconstructive facial surgeries. Oh my last God. Week, joyfully, he spoke for the first time since the tragedy. Tonight, he talks to us. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have played in the tragedy. Oh no. We should never have advertised Mr. Snugglehugs. Fuck. Fuck. Without our publicity, the sheer scale of this tragedy, and now upwards of 8,000 casualties, what? have been averted. On behalf of the Nightly News team, we're sorry. In future, we will do better. Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin? Thank you, Megan. I'm here oh my to God. Tadlock and their seven-year-old son, Timothy. Thanks for spending time with us today. Yes, well, you're very lucky we're spending any time with you at all. After what you lot did, irresponsible. I'm I mean, ready with the sensor. Anyway. It's, it's all right. It wasn't your fault. As you can see, Megan, there's still a few open wounds here. Open I'll tread wounds. carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy now. I'm going to speak to Timmy. Hello, can you see me? Mummy? Who's that lady? Mommy? It's the lady from television, Timothy. She's going to ask you a few questions. Now you be careful now. It upsets him to remember. Don't worry, Mr. Tadlock. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. So, Timmy, can you tell us what happened to you? Just unwrapped Mr. <laughs> hugs, hadn't you? Was he under the tree? Yes. I could smell him already. He smelled like love. Ah, yes. That'll be the fur. It's scented with her. I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm, like our cat, before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. Bloody cat had a death wish. And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? He blinked his real action eyes and said, you're my very best friend. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehug was here, and she can be for just $89.99. And then, and then it's the general error. <laughs> and is that when he burst into flames? Look careful. And then he exploded. Oh, look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently embedded in your cheek? Yes. When I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. God. I know it's under there, staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him Timmy Three Eyes. <laughs> With his glasses, that's five. It's too many eyes, Robin. <laughs> and what's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? He looked at me with his one eye and laughed. Laughed as he burned. It sounds very traumatic. You have nightmares. All right, that's quite you, enough of Timmy? you two Timmy? coming in here with your camera trying to make a buck out of our suffering. I won't have it. Mr. Tadlock, just know. a couple more questions. <laughs> Timmy, do you think you will ever be what we can call normal No, no, normal you've had your questions. Again? Oh, my God. Oh, you've made him cry with all three of his eyes. I do you think your parents will you ever really Marjorie. love you again? Oh, I'm angry, Mr. Tadlock. No, your poster, your favourite poster, Timmy. So there you have it, Megan. Just one of the many victims of an indescribable tragedy that has shaken our nation. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Harrowing stuff. And many questions to be answered by Sophia Remington in the coming days and months, I'd wager. I think I'm blacking out. Jeremy, what are the warning signs a consumer should look out for when they're spotting a dangerous toy? Well, Megan, experts advise to always check for the new advance mark which guarantee a level of safety and quality. Yeah, can we just get a close-up on, on camera three here? So if we take a look at this National Nightly News mug, you should see the mark just on the base of it there. In the wake of the scandal, the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in this set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching out for our families. When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around, you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Yeah! Bursting. Oh. Yeah! She's very good. Who? Megan. Yes, she is. 
Watch your back, Jeremy. The women are coming. I'm more worried about this water dripping into my head. Alex, Bolton, we're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final by waving their no. flashy bits about. Try no. and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. Bozeman out. Not the fleshy bits. We'll throw in the trees for free. You need a sleeping bag. We've got men sleeping bags, boys sleeping bags, couples sleeping bags, sleeping bags. You could sleep it upside down with just your feet out. We got beds you could sleep on on your front uh, back. Yes, you got yes, piles. Yes, we got cushions for miles. He was just he Michelangelo spent all his time on back payments because he couldn't afford a bed. And we say we're going to come down on prices so hard they're going to look flatter than an elephant in a pancake. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. Coming up later, we'll be <laughs> He didn't say his name! Exciting new healthcare facilities, <laughs> transition centers. Nice to see they care. <laughs> You're absolutely right, nice Jeremy. But first, we're going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation, Sports Board. Patrick? That's right, Megan. You join me live here from the final, the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players oh. today. Stryker has got an accuracy of fuck, 7, fuck. a range of 80 of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for her signature move for the Orangi Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. This is the wingspan himself, Tommy, the fingernail Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Still going on. And uh, go first. Striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brain. Stupid. Eddie Striker. Nice start there from Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from, uh, from Harris. What, what are they playing? Back to striker. For shots number three. I'm trying to figure right. out the fucking sport. Right. She's gone to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad if you ask me. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football, move back. I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. So really not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope the round two trigger Wait, better. was he supposed to do that or not? Uh, but first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Of ends. Now we have these ceremonial changing of the ends. I think this is my best work so and far. of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes now sense. <laughs> Striker giving it large. Second round, striker to play. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I apologize if we broadcast any of that stuff. Um, oh, uh oh. Fuck! Fuck. No! Ignore that security. I'm sure we're going to take them out as soon as possible. Uh, apologize if uh, we we broadcast any of that. As I said, um, we're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. Um, uh, they're trying to carry on play, but it's probably a bit difficult, and I'm struggling to follow. Um, because uh, it's quite nice eyesore and um, women's body. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay. So women's body. Uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. <laughs> Eddie Striker. No, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. <gasps> Harris. Harris. And was that the fitted thumbscrew? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. Back to Striker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. Of course, the ground sound. What? Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastering display here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. Absolutely blooming, jaw 
dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there in for Tommy sport. Harris. In uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course, for the And after all, it is a game of two halves. Yeah. Uh, four rounds and seven sub jumps. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. Sponsored by Livingston Spit. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start the half time show. Okay, another posh poker to lose on the court here. We can only apologise for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, he's uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face. Security's on it. Uh, and the bucket's been knocked over! I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Um, uh, genitals flying around for all to see. Um, Really, if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. Smallboy <laughs> cannot be in the final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not bad. Not bad. That ball boy's giving me the eye all the day. I don't know what's going on. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. God, I'm killing this right ball. now. All right, you can all agree, right? I think I found my new career. Sports board broadcasting. And it dribbles down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Back to striker. Back to striker. And striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course, perhaps. And yes, Harris has counted with a tiny bell. That is <laughs> of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel. He's got four back. So, um, here we go. Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. That's all right. That's all right. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good Very idea. Contact. Very clever there. Perhaps a little contact, a caution from the referee. He's been, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. <laughs> Ellie Stryker. Ellie Stryker. And she's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like. I'm into the mess now. I, d I don't know what I can be doing about this. Um, uh, I mean, it's sort of uh, uh, breast and genitals for all to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they, they're full of everywhere, aren't they? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are I, trying to carry I'm on. I'm trying! Because, um, because these protesters are uh, hoping we can get them taken off soon. So they're everywhere! <laughs> Yes, we yes. want our money. Yes, very good. Take them away. From Bloody wasters. Absolute wasters. Oh, jog on. It's an absolute bloody... Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris that really could go in there at this point. Um, really high level play here from two cats who jumped on top of the score. Hold. Hold. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. Uh, About time if you ask me. About time if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Uh, I think she's uh, juggling it around from her hands. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And, and now she's um, and she spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on uh, from striker. So she's in it to win it. On it like a car bonnet. On it like a car bonnet. Tommy Harris here having a bit of beef. Tommy Harris here having a bit of beef. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he hasn't any potassium or what's going on today with. Harris. And he's trying to have a banana with the ball! What a 
fantastic move there from Harris. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic, there we go, Jeremy, that is over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump. Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. Contestants in, please. And the winner of the first annual Sports Board Championship is... again a win for everyone uh, including me as my 15th win in the sports board championship um, i'm going to be celebrating tonight with my wife and children uh, another wonderful victory for me uh, here come the on-site security to collect their medals uh, their six and seven respectively um, and thanks again for watching the uh, sports board championships uh, what more is there to say i'm patrick bannon um, looking forward to celebrating tonight ah! all i know is that to say jeremy's back to you in the studio but Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary final. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. When we come back, I'll be talking live with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter what? Clement, who apparently have a big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. One minute back. Fucking microphone struck me. What? It got me too, Jeremy. Me. Where's that sound guy? Everything okay? Oh, the mics are just trying to kill us now, apparently. You'll be fine. You're unshockable. I'm immune to your cheap flattery. I'm wearing you down. They're flirting. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance that this storm is causing the odd power surge. So your controls might Segment grade C. Dangerous. Oh, now I know man. you're tough and you can take the odd shock for the sake of a perfect news. In quick succession can stop the old ticker. I'm oh. sure you'll make the right decisions. So out. Buckets, we, uh, oh my god. Well, uh, several, actually. You're gonna need a whole new lining up there. We'll see you Minister, it's so good to see you again. Miss Wolf, your star seems to be in the ascendant. It's a great time to be alive. You bloody right, Peter Clement. Megan Wolf. My, but that's a firm handshake you've got there. She's yeah. tougher than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> Am I here? Uh, here, with Mr. Clement on your left. Right you are, pet. <laughs> You'll see, Gary. Ten seconds, everybody. No, mine's fine. Have you had a little accident? Cheeky cow. Five, Cheeky four, cow. three... Cheeky cow. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National Nightly News, Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. Oh! Die! How do I do my job like this? Die! Should we be worried? No, no, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. But yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. Mm. You know, whinges most. You know, people who get to benefit from the many advantages of the new future. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. Someone's dripping on me. But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts projects. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Mm. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make, but they were being surprisingly secretive about it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Okay, it's not usually how it works, but... Uh, what scares you? I mean, really scares you. Ah, it's death. Um, talking about death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Of Sorry, are you saying that advance have cured death? <laughs> that would be a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. But while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scary. And much less painful and much less expensive. Look, which is me close up camera? Oh, then? Sorry, it's, it's kind of when I was 13, my mam came and got me from school. He had to go to the hospital. My granddad, he'd collapsed that morning. So we'd all to say our goodbyes. And 
I went in to see him. He were all frail and pale. I, I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before, and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Pinty, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I love. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, we were back there. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. <laughs> He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a oh, commode. No. So he'd just take a shit right there in the while people watching food. This is, I don't like this, this feature. That sounds, oh, um, it, it was awful. It was awful for us. But, and this is the point. It were awful for him. He could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off. Is breathing a, equipment at night, but she Jesus, or oh, she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see, and she didn't want to lose the children as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did, and now no family will have to. Oh boy! The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centres. The transition centres will handle everything for your last days. The legal financial, medical, and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. And that choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it, for people who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. You've just given me electric jaw. Are you okay? I, I, I don't know. I think it's by my asshole. Are we still on the air, Peter? No, yes. Uh, sorry, sorry. My apologies. Oh. Are, are you not worried that this new system might be open to a This is good. In this is way? good entertainment. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I've got a shot to get. Can I get a little bit of help here, please? That the older generation might feel somewhat. Jesus, I brought you, Facebooker. That one was massive. Right, no, this bastard's cut off. Sorry, the the older generation might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> and just spend their final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of... <laughs> with a rusty twat Prime Minister, please watch your language. Oh, oh, oh. Go get yourself sorted out. Right. We're launching a government information film tonight. Tell your viewers everything they need to know. You really do move. I'm going to die. You've yet to be an officer here. Oh, Megan. Yeah. We're only getting started. <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much for being here. Jen. Right, yes, um, that's all we have time for tonight. Uh, thank you. Just go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board Final. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Dalton. If you can, have a peaceful night. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Fucking hit. So they just... My dying? Because anyway, this could be a, a good thing. It's my nephew, so having transitioned, and otherwise not the leak. It popped up at the same time that I hit it. Oh, no, I'm okay. I can't, I couldn't tell. Oh, live and spooky DLC unlocked. Great. Oh. What? Why? What did I do wrong? I want to watch the uh, the sports again. That was great. Oh, I didn't work on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We joined eh. Jeremy and the team. There's just time for a brief look at what's coming up later tonight on Channel One. At 6.30, it's a brief history of sports. The sports board, board was an amazing bit. Taking a look at the surprising rise. I think my editing was top-notch. Aside from the, 
the meaty bits that were I accidentally showed. Yeah, the fannies. This game is so original. I also the acting. Here, I'll tread carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy now. Hello, Timmy. <laughs> Can you see me, Mummy? Who's that lady? It's a lady from television, Timothy. She's going to ask you a few questions. And you be careful now. It upsets him to remember. Don't worry, Mr. Tadlock. I wasn't the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Enquirer for no reason. So, Timmy. Can you tell you? You had just unwrapped Mr. Snugglehugs, hadn't you? Was he under the tree? Yes, I could smell him already. He smelled like love. Ah, yes, that'll be the fur. It's scented with hoof. I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm, like our cat, before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. Bloody cat had a death wish. And what did Mr. Snugglehugs say to you? He blinked his real action eyes and said, you're my very best friend. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehugs was here and she can't be for just 89.99. And then, and then it's the general error. 41. <laughs> and is that when he burst into flames? Look careful. And then he exploded. Oh, look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently embedded in <laughs> When I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. I know it's under there, staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him. <laughs> and uh, with his glasses, that's five. It's too many eyes, Robin. It's too many eyes, and Robin. What's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? He looked at me with his one eye and laughed. Laughed as he burst. <laughs> It sounds very traumatic. <laughs> Do you have nightmares? All right, that's quite you, enough of Timmy? you two Timmy? coming in here with your camera trying to make a buck out of our suffering. I won't have it. <laughs> Mr. Tadlock, just a couple more questions. <laughs> Timmy, Marjorie, do you think you will ever be what we can call no, no, you've normal had your questions, again? And now look. Oh, you've made him cry with all three of you. Guys. I do you think your parents will ever really all three of his eyes? That's it. Enough. Come on, Mr. Tadlock. Oh, your poster, your favorite. Are you okay? So there you have it, Megan. Just one of the many victims of an indescribable tragedy that has shaken our nation. I'm bleeding. Am I not? Thank you, Robin. Harrowing stuff. And many questions to be answered by Sophia Remington in the coming days and months. Oh, yeah. I think I'm blacking out. Around. So, Jeremy, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sports time. Sports time. Later, we'll be speaking to the prime ministers. About New game that's gripping the nation. Sports board. All right, I'm gonna go to the Patrick. bathroom real quick. That's Enjoy right, the sports Megan, board. You join me live here for the final, the first annual sports board. It was. It is wild to try to cut this football. without knowing. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other. Anything that was gonna to... happen, just having to make it up on the floor. We have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of seven, a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for her signature move, the Lanky Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending, is Mr. Wingspan himself, Tommy, the fingernail Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. Still going on. And a striker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. The robe. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the, the brawn and not the brain. Play, Stupid. Eddie Stryker. Nice start there from Stryker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Harris now. Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from, uh, from Harris. Back to Stryker. For shot number three. All right. 
She's gone to sort of throw you under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. Is there contact? Don't know why you can pay To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football, move back. I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. So really not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope that round two treats him a bit better. Uh, but first, of course, after the arguing with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Of ends. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. Striker giving it large. Second round, and Duble, Harris. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, okay we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. I uh, apologise if we broadcast any of that stuff. Um, she appears to have slogans across her breast and arse. Um, uh, try and ignore all of that security. I'm sure we're going to take them out as soon as possible. Uh, apologise if uh, we. We broadcast any of that, as I said, um, we're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. Um, uh, they're trying to carry on play, but it's proving a bit difficult, and I'm struggling to follow, because um, uh, it's quite an eyesore, and um, women's body... Yeah, all right, great. Okay, so back into round two now, uh, and Harris absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Eddie Stryker. You know, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. Harris. And was that the fitted thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. I like how you keep doing this. Back to striker. <laughs> and we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. <laughs> from the here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical the here absolutely blooming jaw-dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. <whistles> and Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there ah, for Tommy sport. Harris. Uh, but he is a late bloomer, of course, the said that. And after all, it is a game of two halves. Uh, four rounds and seven sub -gums. But now, of course, it's time for the half-time show. Sponsored by Wimington Switch. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start the half-time show. Okay, another posh poster salute on the court here. We can only apologise for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, is uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself in, uh, in Harris's face. Security is on it. Uh, and the bucket has been knocked over! <laughs> I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Um, uh, genitals flying around for all to see. Um, Really, if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. Final pose, <laughs> final poses. Oh boy, what is he doing? The final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because yeah, of science, we correct. can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not bad. You took that. That ball boy's giving me the eye all day. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball. I'm all right, ladies. <laughs> I missed that Probably line. Harris. And it dribbled down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Back to striker. <laughs> and striker's gone for the animal bonus there, but of course, perhaps. And yes, Harris has counted it with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course, we've seen that before. <laughs> Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mud. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four bouts. So um, here we go. Come on, Tommy Harris. That's all right. Not bad there. He threw it quite <laughs> far away from him, which is quite a good idea. No Very contact. clever there. God. Perhaps a little contact for caution from the referee, who's being, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Ellie Stryker. A 
Oh, she's there, the nerves came to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like, I, mean, this is a mess I fucked this part up so bad. They're, like they're everywhere. Uh, I mean, there's sort of uh, uh, breasts and genitals for all to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they, they're full of everywhere, aren't they? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are trying to carry on, but of course it's difficult because um, because these protesters are uh, hoping we can get them taken off soon so we can carry on with the match. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Okay, so many is going on here. Yes, yes. We want our money. Yes, very good. Take them away. God, man. So they're rich Nothing people that had their, their money taken away by the government. An absolute bloody. Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. It really could go in there at this point. Um, really high level play here from two absolute juggernauts of the sport. Hold. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Um, interesting. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um and she's spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on. Illegal spit. Uh, Illegal from spit. striker. But she's in it Harris. to win it. Harris's ball. On it like a car bonnet. <laughs> uh, Tommy Harris here having a bit of beef. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he hasn't had his potassium or what's going on today with Harris. And he's trying to have a banana with the ball. What a fantastic move there from Harris. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic. There we go, Jeremy. I like how the, the announcer doesn't know what is good or bad either. Uh, we just have to wait for the referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. Contestants in, please. I'm really proud and of this the shot. Of the first annual sports board championship is everyone! Wow. Okay, the ref has agreed once again a win for everyone, uh, including me as my 15th win in the sports board championship. <laughs> time um, the I'm going to be celebrating tonight with my wife and children. Uh, another wonderful victory for me. Uh, here come the on-site security to collect their medals. Uh, their Congrats on the win. Thanks, guys. You too. You too. Uh, Congrats on the win. And thanks again for watching you guys earned the it. Uh, sports board championships. Uh, what more is there to say? I'm Patrick Bannon. Um, looking forward to celebrating tonight. Um, and all I have left to say, Jeremy, is back to you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I love this game. Oh, I missed the prostate ad. Uh oh, wait, what? Right, we well, think you months. And Alex, keep your ears open. You'll hear them climbing up the tower. Don't let them build up. Oh, do we want to put crazy music? Seems like it could be bad. This has no credibility, Jenny. No professionalism. 
It's not a mess. Everything is where it should be. It's ramshackle and characterful, and I expect you to know the difference. Of course Megan's place looked lovely, but I can't see it, can I? Thanks, Jenny. How's lock-in with the boyfriend going? Decided to take his chances on the wild streets, eh? Rather than endure another romantic comedy. Jeremy, Jenny says your hair looks stupid. Yes, I can hear her. As she says she's not talking to you. Yes, I know, I can hear her. Shall I count us in? I like Jeremy's Make voice. It so. Okay, ten seconds. Make it so. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. It's the national weather report. Five, four. Oh, we're locked in because of the fucking pets. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, and pets, I'm Megan Wolf. Our robots. main story the, tonight. The little Snuggle fuck. It's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snuggle what? toys woke up simultaneously in factories worldwide and began searching Jeremy. for their husbands. The Mr. Snuggle hugs were so short sightedly destroyed. And now, as this photograph suggests, they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Oh, no! Snuggles have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. Wrong one! All the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. Armed with blunt weapons, the Mrs. Snuggle hugs are only angry. They changed it. And therefore able to be kicked away easily by young, healthy individuals. They do, however, pose a particular risk to the elderly or those with pre existing medical conditions like fatal bruise syndrome. Going <laughs> stir crazy. With no signs of Mrs. Snugglehug's batteries running out and the government lockdown now in its 31st day, domestic relationships across the country are taking some unexpected turns. Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behavior in homes across the country. And we're not talking about the model planes that occupy so much time in the Donaldson household. With dating options limited, many house sharers, in particular students, are finding solace in co-tenants they'd previously rejected as unfuckable, <laughs> indulging in an activity that has become known as snuggle thugging. Transformation. Popular cemetery Johnny Hansleaves, who has recently been suffering with his health, sent us this photo today, presumably in a pathetic attempt to stay relevant at a time of global crisis. Since receiving his test results, things in Johnny's life have taken a surprising turn. He's certainly using the lockdown to reinvent himself. It seems that rumors that Johnny has been ill were just that, and that he has, in fact, developed superhuman powers. Renaming himself Captain Han, he has pledged to fight crime, mainly in the agricultural sector. The shape of things to come? In their own version of a lockdown for more than 45 years now, the descendants of Drs. David Wong and Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensvord and their unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized imaging equipment. Many of the Svorsborg and Horgens brood, as they've come to be known, have certainly captured the public imagination, with a recent vote naming Helvetica Svorsborg and Wongensvord the most likely to survive a massive electric shock. Helvetica Svorsborg and Wongensford here with a little update from Dante's... Who is the other guy? This year is going to be our biggest ever harvest and autumn's just two weeks away. Or, at least that's what we think. There's no real day or night down here and all the clocks broke a long time ago. But, if our calculations are right, we think that for you up there it is... Wednesday, the 412th of January, or as you call it, Piss Mouth Day. Or huh? possibly Boxing Day if we're a bit out, so uh, happy Piss Mouth. I hope you get all the presents you ask for left under your Piss Mouth tea. Stop! I to complete my collection of rocks. See you in September. Helvetica out. See you in September. It's hard to believe they've been down there so long now. But as everyone knows, time moves differently underwater, Jeremy. That's why goldfish are so stupid. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the bowl, the thicker the goldfish. There's no denying the logic of that. Class war, a worrying turn today for the formerly rich as ever more punishing measures are announced, Alex. With the country becoming ever more hostile to the previously wealthy, those who manage to skip the country must be very grateful to the people who help them right now. We have it from several sources that rich runaways have actually begun to spontaneously lose their teeth. One I don't know the fuck the teeth thing was. Cosmic justice, or has masked vigilante dental Dennis been up to his old tricks again? And Advance speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world, Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. 
We've certainly done our bit on this show. Do he talks for the people. The She's more more corporate. Well, let's not forget. He I won't say anything bad. Is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy. I fucked up. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Megan. Let's play that statement. Let's play that Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation, and they have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the fuck is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? Uh oh I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a duck in the park that I like to try and feed on a Friday. I call him Mr. Flashington. And I think we're really starting to bond. No, James, they make their hives in parks. Their hives. Hated from Self-Righteous on Sea wants to go out so she can deliver homemade meals to the elderly. No, Katie, stay at home. Your casserole's dire and Shirley can get by with tins of creamed rice from the 1950s. And you, Lewis, from Hamble Bamblebury, those screams you heard in the alley last night behind your house are best left to the police. Now, I want to make this as clear as I can. Think first. Stop sending me stupid, sodding requests and stay inside. Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. Thank you. Collectible stuff. Later tonight, Jeremy will be catching up with brave roving reporter Patrick Bannon while I check in with two friends of the program who find themselves stranded at opposite ends of the country. And then, in part three, there's going to be a quiz. Presumably because there's nothing more important going on that you might like to report on if you were saying a news program. And in a moment, we'll both be asking Sophia Remington how such a trusted brand can have made such a terrible manufacturing mistake. With what it describes here as help from popular psychic scientist Delia Lywell. Oh, I like her. <laughs> no, you don't. Why do you do that? That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. <laughs> Jeremy's had better days, man. He's 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 about to snap. Who's to blame? Joining us from her ranch in Arlingsfield, Milkirky, is the CEO of Remington's Fist, internationally respected business Bengali, Sophia Remington. Thank you for having me, Megan. I'm a huge fan of your work. And from a crystal healing laboratory, what I assume is a garage in Upper Lowington, inexplicably renowned psychic scientist, Dr. Delia Lywell. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Sorry, us? Myself and the eminent professors. Is that what you call the voices in your head? I've always seemed to attract dead scientists. I don't really know why. The money? They express themselves to me through ethereal algebra and quadratic predictions. It's all very technical. No, it isn't. <laughs> I concur. Miss Remington, the entire Snuggle Hugs range will surely go down as the biggest public religion disaster in history, won't it? Well, of course, that's one world record we would never have thought to claim. What can you say at a time like this? There is only one thing that can be said. I'm sorry. We're sorry. From everyone here at Rimming Toys, nice but apologizing. especially the dedicated inventors and world-beating engineers at Rimming Toys, mm -hmm. we are deeply, deeply sorry. Yeah. Who could have predicted that letting a child's toy learn how to love could have such unforeseen consequences? Mary Shelley? <laughs> We see you, Sophia Rimmington. You are preening by a metal vessel, and where you venture, you will see neither land nor sky. Is that supposed to be the future? Only the past is concrete. I remember being a child in my grandpa's workshop when he made the first dancing hangman toy. He put it by my bed, 
And when I couldn't sleep, I'd wind it up and let it go, and I'd watch that happy little executioner just wiggle and wave his tiny noose and dance before my eyes. Grandpa sold thousands of them, on the quiet, obviously. And he used the money he made to found Rimming Toys, which is now just one small part of the global supermassive megacore that is Remington's Fist. Sadly, we lost Grandpappy along the way. He died in a fire at the preschool tobacco factory, another one of his pet projects. But we never lost his spirit of invention. Yes, uh, I'm not entirely certain what your grandfather's offensive toys have to do with the current predicament. <laughs> the spirit of invention, Mr. Donaldson. The passion to create, to problem solve. And that is why I'm here today, to tell you about a brand new product we're launching simultaneously oh around the world from midnight tonight. We said science! Science! <laughs> we hear its song on the breeze, its breath on the wind, its bark under the covers. How does she do it? W well, please don't keep us in suspense any longer. It won't be my future she's making up next. Remington's Fist is proud to present Snuggle Traps. Safety and security in these dangerous times. Each box of snuggle traps contains eight devices, all guaranteed to stop a Mrs. Snuggle Hug in its trap. That's enough for a small lawn or four window boxes. And you want to know the best thing? They're only $129.99 a box. Now that is affordable peace of mind. <gasps> we see you, Jeremy Donaldson. Not now, honey. I'm mid-pitch. The best thing about snuggle traps is they're powered by next-generation Flardinium batteries. So, however long the enemy lasts, the enemy. traps will outlast them. <laughs> we see you, Mr. Donaldson. You are screaming and yelling. Your friends are crying. They fear you. And then you're gone. Oh my god, I just got chills. Did anyone else just get chills then? <laughs> I think I did. I think it's more concerned. I think I'd be more concerned about these traps. Um, quickly, but before we go to the break, um, these appear to be attractively repackaged landmines. Aren't they dangerous, say, to children? Oh hell yeah! These are not toys, <laughs> but they're explosive fun. Oh hell yeah! Sophia Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell, thank you for joining us. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at the situation across the country tonight. Don't go away. We'll be these Fuck. bandages. Was that all right? Oh, yes, Doctor. That was exactly what we did. <laughs> I fucked it! Oh, I'm gonna get fired. That young Miss Remington. Oh. I she'd make an interesting dinner guest. Do you think so? I think I'd rather spend the evening shoving Delia's sacred crystals up my skeptical Crazy Neil's arm. wit and wisdom. And I'm reaching out through the lens of this camera to say, buddy, if you're listening, build a better life for yourself. You want crazy? Oh, my we got crazy. crazy. Hey, Dave. I wouldn't believe this, but I've decided to come say, on, listen on, call me back in the next break, and we can talk about how I get me job back. Cheers, Alex. See you, mate. More of a hunch look, and that wasn't popular. I used to have a ventriloquist act. I cheated, rather, because I trained a dog to talk. You can get down on all fours and yap like a dog for only $22.99 a month. This is a deal oh with no. Neil Appeal. As the astronaut once said to me, I had a mission. Sometimes you're the alien and sometimes you're the cow. Hey, dude, get off my wife. They wanted to increase recruitment for nuns. Nuns with buns, nuns with guns, nuns with sons. That one didn't go down so much because apparently they're not supposed to have sons. Crazy Bob here to make your life a little more enjoyable. Namaste. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. I'm Megan. Shut up. Sorry, not you, Megan. Time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might impact the nation from some friendly faces. Joining me are respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Kites, Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks. <laughs> it's a pleasure. I'm fucking it up. I enjoyed our little heated encounter. I wish I could say the same. So first off, Katie, how are you coping? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so sudden that, like many people, I haven't been able to get home. 
Oh, this is why I'm fucking up. After an international policy convention, and we had a particularly uh, heavy night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept. And as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely, and I've had to refund every single ticket, even the cheap seats. Oh, wow. Alan, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. People are being quite rude about it. They don't seem to realise I've already spent it filling the beach house with beef. The crisis claim another victim. So, this is just a reminder that my book, Alan James's Reich, is now available in- What?! <laughs> unbelievable. What was that? You. You're unbelievable. So, Katie, how do you think this might affect the economy? Should we be worried? Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses can survive this. There you go. Scaremongering again. I have an idea. Spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Shh. They want us compliant. And they want us inside. A hoax? How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? Well, no, but... Did you know 3,000 people die every year from regular toys? <laughs> That's a lot of people. And this is no different. You're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket. Mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive point, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute shit. Well, then I must be wrong. Are you now recanting your statement? Fuck! That these toys aren't dangerous. I'm, I'm losing People it, guys. saying they're just like normal toys. And that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. And Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mrs. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with him. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate your support. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Snuggle Hug situation will all blow. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> we need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support the vulnerable and we need to, to repent. Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences like art, cake, and health care. Now and begin sacrificing our firstborns, or at a push, a beloved family. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual, hopefully we will appease the great. Katie, could it be any? I think worse? I missed an important thing there. Luckily, over the past few years, under advance, they've invested heavily into health, so the system can actually bear the. I'm really fucking it's up, guys. That the Lama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own people to conceal the enemy within. Will you just stop for five fucking seconds? The Global Alliance of Fish People are amassing an army. Me, 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 me. Amassing an army to kidnap. Me, 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 That's you. That's what you sound like. But. Me. I. Me. 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 I don't, I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. You do, Alan. You do sound like that. And that's why no one wants to be your friend. I've got loads of friends. No, you haven't. I don't think you... <laughs> lying, Alan. I'm not lying. You are... Oh, good one. Oh. Well, I'm telling... Alan James. Alan, you know Katie what they Brighton, say about Thank you for Alan. joining me. Some real food for thought there. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us an up-to-the-minute report of the status of the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for what I'm sure was a reasonable debate, which really contributed to the national conversation. Next, out on the streets, some... Uh, the cost of the... It's Patrick Brennan! Um... Are you there, Patrick? <laughs> Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or, or women uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. Right, and uh, can you tell us what it's like out there? Yep, I can. It's uh, uh, As you can see behind me, the streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, but my question, Jeremy, is just how long? I mean, 
Could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of this young, promising journalist before his, his full potential is even realised? Will he die underappreciated by management and frankly, if you ask me, very, very much underpaid? I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made it, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting themselves at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking journalism reasons. Mm -hmm. And just where are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the street, on the street. Which street? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a sign. Uh, oh, there it is. I'm, I'm on ba uh, uh, Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign, it says there. Like Patrick Bannon? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> that is like, that's strange. That's a weird sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where are you, really? I'm on Bannon, um... All right, fine, I'm not on Bannon Avenue. I'm on... I'm at home, to be honest. I'm... All right, fine. Well, I mean, I'm in my bathroom, technically, but, you know, I, I couldn't face it, to be honest, mate. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. <laughs> can you hear that sound? What the hell's that? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a, a tiny fist tapping on your door there. Oh, fuck, it does. Oh fuck, Jeremy, shit, no! Oh bollocks, right. Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny fists, each wielding a different gendered and household implement, ready to fuck bash yeah. in the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit, fucking, okay, fucking, listen, listen to me, listen to me, you bastards! If you're out there, just piss off, you little fucking snuggle fucks! I'm too talented to die! Oh, what the fucking hell? Okay, he's fine. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Don't worry, oh, God. Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds. They break their way in there and finish you off. <laughs> what do you see, Patrick? for that report showing the nation and uh, more importantly management just where you belong it's time for another break but uh, when we come back we'll be happy to take your mind off the world for a little while and who knows maybe even bring you a few smiles join us after this what? you're damn right yeah i had them delivered yes to bannon avenue uh oh well, he did deliver them No, I'm not. I'm not going to. I don't have to. Uh oh. No, you're being a child. I'm not. I'm not. We can't believe you fell for it. 
No, no. Oh. Uh oh. Five, Did I play four, something bad? Three. Welcome back to the National Nightly. Well, welcome back anyway. We know isolation isn't easy, so finally tonight we have something a bit different for you. Even though some people find it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other more important people overrule those people. So it's time to find out who will National Nightly win. Yo, what's up, dude? And who will National Nightly lose? Fuck off, Jeff. Well, Fuck. it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy. All right, Johnny. It's good to see you. Hey, Boone. And, After uh, this round, lockdown, I, uh, Tommy? we can Jimmy's swap. Lockdown. I have to focus. The enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah. I think I heard about that, actually. Yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during nap time, so. Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm going to ask contestants from around the territory three questions about what else, yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh. Thank you. This. Fuck off. Oh! But I've signed it, so... Oh, well then, what a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once-in-a-lifetime prize, Jerry and Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say, I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, Angie, <laughs> I love you. In a way. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Well, what can I say? Uh, my name is Angie. <laughs> Always has been. Um, I'm a human woman. And my <laughs> dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, Doug. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you start, and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite Colour. Crushed praline four. Correct. The colour of my nipples. Angie dear, what is my star sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Tommy? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right which of course means you lose and win absolutely nothing thanks for playing angie bye do we have another contestant on the line at jelly bean we do indeed we should have sonia hartleach are you there sonia <laughs> of course i am jamie darling <laughs> thank you for being here sonia oh there you are tommy Mwah. let me guess you work in theater don't you is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel Coffee Cup, and Jodie Carpetburn, amongst others. And how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Uh, well, they may have closed the theatres, shut the studios and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artist contracts, I am able to claim my 15% from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> wow, that certainly is sharp. Standard stuff, standard stuff. <laughs> And can I ask, where are you speaking to us from? 
Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. And uh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> well, oh. you know, when Algebra. I the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No fucking way. What the fucking fuck? Is that Tommy Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, Tommy? No. We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new shit. Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you know their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been developing uh, some shows for younger children. Well... We'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right, so, what do kids love? Uh, timely just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. Animals! So, I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think, yes. I think so, yes. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems with his interest rates. I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. Oh. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something here. Oh, the bear, the bear, Oh, the yes, bear. yes, 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 right. <clears throat> this one is much better. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear is a very sad bear because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. Well, I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is <laughs> a tragic... I knew he was going to say something to say. Picture like. this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? But then he meets someone that will change his life forever. This is fucking gripping. That's right. He meets a wise old octopus who takes him under his wing and says, No, Mr. Bear. Don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these dreams. Such fucking dreams. I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what you need to do, Mr. Bear, says the octopus, probably doing an eight-armed gesture or something. <laughs> what you need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals. It's called Mr. Bear Lowers His Expectations. Wow. You really <laughs> <don't> <laughs> <have> <laughs> So what do you oh. want children to take away from this? Oh, fuck shit, shit, fuck. What? I said a more realistic worldview. Are you all right, Jamboree? It's Jeffrey. My name is Jeffrey Listen. Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? We need to know how it ends. Well, all the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. Yeah, and Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. <laughs> It becomes a bear math teacher. Oh, and we end. Ho, ho, ho! We end on a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boom box. Yeah, uh, do you know, I might be able to. Hang on. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more, the merrier, as they say oh, at God. orgies. <laughs> Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. Lie! Or wanted. At all. Right. I can only apologise in advance for what we're all about to... endure. Can you turn this shit in thing? Ah! <laughs> well, there's all sorts of creatures... Oh my god. ...down on Dangly Doodle Farm. Like wise old Mr Octopus. 
with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow, they're always in good mood. They'll soon be sliced up into food. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Mr. Raccoon, who wants to go to the moon, he'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine, thinks you'll read the news at nine, he'll end up as a janitor who stinks at purple time. Mr. Tiny Mouse, thought he'd own a massive house, ended up in a bedsit where he can't control the louse. Mr. Horse, thought he'd go into professional sports, now he's an alcoholic and he's on his third divorce. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the place your life becomes an endless questionnaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to die. Lower your expectations Maybe you could get a job in telecommunications No matter how you try, you'll never reach the League of Nations The best you'll get is middle rank in trading operations So lower your expectations You'll never win an Oscar, so there's no congratulations. The future that is coming will not meet specifications. And no amount of visualizations will save you from your own deterioration. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's a Trump who thought he'd be a multi-millionaire. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where self-esteem goes to die. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the disappointment that is waiting everywhere. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. That's where your dreams go to die. That's where dreams go to die. Thanks all for what I'm sure is bound to be a classic of children's entertainment. <laughs> but now, let's see how it's really done. Oh! Before we wrap up the news tonight, I just wanted to spend a what is going on? to you directly. A final thought, if you will, just for you, Alex. You see, I know you think it's gotten complicated back at the old homestead, but uh, there's something you should know. You like to think you got the f And you're just really pure You think you're even handed But there's nobody cool You can't love your daughter more You like to think you got it under control Well if that was your goal I do? I thought I've done a lot for my son. on the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow when Jeremy will be wrestling an alpaca and I'll be naked. I'm Megan Wolf. Have a treacle night. Oh. Huh.
Oh, I just give me that beer. I'm fucking famished. Fucking famished. Wow. This game is picking up. We know that you're scared. <laughs> now, is she okay? More than ever. What is this piss? Even though we're apart. Do you think I'd be happy with that? To know. You're out of your it mind. It matters how you look. Loads, actually. Hello. Is it good to see you here? Alex. And the isolation wake idea. Up, Alex, wake up. 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 Wow. I really fucked up the middle one, huh? I killed it at the end, though. Played an advert too late, yeah. Dude, this game is so good. I'm loving it. I'm really excited to play more. Um... In a few moments, we'll be going live to the we National We are Night going News. to switch over and that, play with Boone in just a moment now. Later on tonight and every night on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's another episode of What's Wrong With This Picture? And tonight, a group of television executives will be trying to work out why there's a cock and balls on the cheek of the Mona Lisa. Huh? That's followed at 8 p.m. by Azores winning documentary series, The Shape of Then, which tonight looks at the long forgotten phenomenon we used to call outside. At 9 p.m., sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie Electric Fever Dream, starring Lawrence Blunderclatch as Helena Canterbury Boatshoe and vice versa. That brings us to 11.15 where, as usual, Dr. Adrian Atkinson Blimey will be eating his guests. This game rules? This game is so cool. Have you played it, Sci-Fi? I'm really excited to stream it again. Yeah, there's DLC too. I bought the DLC. Um, is Robocop done? Yeah, we finished Robocop. Where's the bit after this was good. Yeah, the acting's great. Humor's great. They nailed the tone. Yeah, I fucked this segment up real bad. Although... I think it was, it was worth it for that. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> it's like heavy we breathing. Need action from the government. You need to support the vulnerable, and we need to, to repent. To exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences like art, cake, and health care. Now. And begin sacrificing <laughs> our firstborns, or to push a beloved family pet. He absolutely. He Alan. spent so long if we setting can all up the sandwich. Come together as a community and perform the ritual. Hopefully, we will appease the great. <laughs> so that was a segment I definitely missed. The great ancient, and they all did a thing with their with, with their hands. Katie, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years. <laughs> That's you. That's what you sound like. But me, I me, the me, the I fuck this up so bad. I don't. I honestly most embarrassing. Being Alan. Although, look how happy he is. I don't think he. That smile. Lying, Alan. I'm not lying. You are. Oh, good one. I'm telling. Alan James. Alan, you know Katie what they Brightman, say about Thank you for Alan. joining me. Some real food for thought there.
any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us a <laughs> report of the status of the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for what I'm sure was a reasonable debate, which really contributed to the national conversation. Next, out on the streets, some... Uh, the cost of the... It's Patrick Brennan! Um... Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. All right, we'll do the last. We'll watch the last segment again, and then we're gonna swap over and play some Guilty Gear with Boone. But I will be finishing this game. I like it. We'll definitely stream it again. Catching the heads of the blind little roving reporters. But you're lying, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> listen, listen to me, listen to me, you <laughs> If you're out there, just to piss off, you little f***ing <laughs> snuff. <laughs> I'm too talented to die. Oh, what the f***ing <laughs> hell? Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, God. for that report showing the nation and more importantly management just where you belong it's time for another break but uh, when we come Jeremy's back savage, we'll be happy to take your mind off the world for a little while and who knows maybe even bring you a few smiles join us after this your children are our future advance knows this Oh my God. And when they talk about what's happening at home, we'll be listening and taking notes. You wouldn't let your children drift off down the river to uncertain ends. That's where I sent my son. Or abandon them to a life of shame and mockery and eventual death on the streets. So you sent them to fly with us instead. They're probably safe. But I guess you never know what's lurking in the water. The advanced go-getters. We can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> back to the National Nightly. Well, welcome back anyway. We know isolation isn't easy, so finally tonight, we have something a bit different for you. Even though some people have heard it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other, more important people overruled those people. So it's time to find out who will National Nightly win and who will National Nightly lose. F*** off, Jay. Well, <laughs> it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy. All right, Johnny. It's good to see you. <laughs> and uh, how are you finding the lockdown, Tommy? Would you be locked down? The isolation segment the was literally filmed during COVID lockdown? Yeah, I assume up. so. Yeah. I it's a really I clever way of actually, fitting yeah. it into the plot, you know. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during nap time, so. Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm going to ask contestants from around the territory three questions about what else, yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. And what are they playing for, Tommy? Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh. Thank you. This is that. What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. Oh. But I've signed it, so. Oh well then, what a fantastic prize! Have we got anybody waiting to win this once in a lifetime prize, Jerry and Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Yeah, they change um, the subtitles every time. How do you feel time. about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say, I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, uh, Angie, I love you. In a way. Tell us about yourself, There's Angie. three versions of the Bear song. Well, That's interesting. Say, uh, 
My name is Angie, <laughs> always has been. Um, I'm a human woman and my dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you yeah. start and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite colour? Crushed praline four. Correct. The colour of my nipples. And finally, Angie dear, what is my star sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside the of the you got was very different. Of the cosmos. Interesting. Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Tommy? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right. Which, of course, means you lose and win absolutely nothing. Thanks for playing, Angie. Bye. Do we have another contestant on the line at Jelly Bean? We do indeed. Jelly Bean. We should have Sonia. Are you going to buy the season pass? There's Are a season there, pass Sonia? in this game? Why? Of course I am, Jamie, darling. Thank you for being here. I mean, I'm down to play more. I'm liking it. Oh, there you are, Tommy. Mwah. Let me guess. You work in theatre, don't you? Is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel Coffee Cup, Samuel Judy Coffee Cup, Burn, amongst others. And how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Uh, well, they may have closed the theatres, shut the studios and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in... What, what was it going back for? Was it the song? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so we've been isolated together. No f***ing way! What the f***ing f***? That's Tommy <laughs> Harris! I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're going to play a game, <laughs> aren't no, no, we, Tommy? No. Oh, we've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> hey, I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new... Well, at least you're already aware. During lockdown, uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you near their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been developing uh, some shows for young children. Parker Brandy, the, the three-year reset. Well, Could you do the other versions? If we have time, I don't want to keep Boone waiting. Absolutely dying to. Right, so what do kids love? Uh, timely just put payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. <laughs> Animals! So, I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think, yes. I think so, yes. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems okay. with his interest rates. We'll, we'll scroll through some of the other does ones. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does, yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, Doc. All right, well, we're going to pause this and look at some of the other ones on YouTube real quick. Magic figure. Pick Old Forest is... Away from this. Oh. What? I said a more realistic world view. <laughs> All right. Good evening, I'm Megan Wall. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. This game is great. Study starting! 
I am 100% going to play more. Um, all right, real quick, we're going to look at some of the other bear songs, and then we'll swap over and play some Guilty Gear with Boone. All right. I don't have to. No, you're being a child. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, no, oh, oh. five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly. Well, welcome back anyway. We don't ask a he meets a wise old. All right, so this is Mr. Bear Normal. This is the well, one we got. All sorts of creatures down on Dangly Doodle Farm. Like wise old Mr. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? All right, so that's normal. Now this is surreal. There's, there's three. Where's the button on this fucking? Ah. <laughs> Well, there's all sorts of creatures down on Dangly Doodle Farm. Like wise old Mr. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig over Mrs. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow. They're always in good mood. But that's cause they don't know they'll soon be I'm back on normal. Soon be sliced up into food. Shush. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Mr. Raccoon wants to go to the moon. He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine thinks he'll read the news at nine. He'll end up as a janitor who stinks of turpentine. Please do not applaud. I'm a massive fraud. Shacked up with the agent while the wife thinks I'm abroad. You oh. said you were done. Oh, I say that to everyone. Sometimes when I'm tipsy, me and Angela still have fun. <laughs> Mr. Bear, I don't oh. even care. Sonia takes it up the bum and shaves her pubic hair. <laughs> Prostate now it start it's proud there. Mr. Bear, I have private health care. Ninety pairs of shoes and thirty different types of cookware. Mr. Mr. Bear, I feel less a fair. Maybe when the lockdown lifts, I'll hit on the old pair. Mr. Bear, I don't mean to swear, but I'll give a fucking lick before the lockdown is there. Mr. Bear, what a lovely chair. Mr. Bear. He's doing the 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 wide emote. And then there's another one. Apparently, that was not the dark one. This is the dark one. You recommended this game, Kiwo, and I love it. Well, there's all Great sorts pick. of creatures down on Dangly Doodle Farm, like wise old Mr. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow. They're always in good moods, 
But that's cause they don't know they'll soon be sliced up into food. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where it's actually pretty catchy. To die. Mr. Raccoon wants to go to the moon. He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine thinks he'll read the news at nine. He'll end up as a janitor who sneaks a turpentine. Mr. Ape got sent down for eight. Didn't work out he was innocent till he was 88. Mr. Huh? Bird from South, superstar and on his path, ended up on the end of a belt with an orange in his mouth. Oh, Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's the place your mommy pushed your daddy down the stairs. Uh. Mr. Bear, six months in intensive care, that's why the bitch has to die. <laughs> oh my god! What choices would have led to this version playing? What the fuck? The farmer thinks the dangly doodle creatures are asleep. But Mr. Bear's a swinger like the pigs and cows and sheep. Oh. He visits every pen and sty and always brings the fun. And jerks off Mr. Quackington, who's always first to come. He fingers Mr. Badger's bum and Mrs. Donkey's quim. Then he frogs with Mr. Chicken. What's a quim? Both are quite done in. Then he runs around the farmyard, trying to shove it where it fits. And ends the night by porting over Mrs. Badger's tits. There's never a dull moment down on Dangly Doodle Farm, kids. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? It's the hundredth the word for vagina in Britain. You, don't you guys have enough? It is catchy, you know, we'll give them that. Oh, well, you know, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope you're <laughs> enjoying the live stream. Time for a sponsored segment. How about that? Donor to boner, thank you for the 20, the 30 month resub. Um, yeah, so we're definitely going to play more of not for broadcast because that, uh, what a, what an original game, dude. Really, really impressed with it. And I'm excited to try more. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll probably play more on Friday, maybe. If not Friday, then the weekend. So we'll, uh, we'll pick back up then. I am now going to swap over to Guilty Gear for a sponsor segment with Boone. And we're not going to talk about all the new words we just learned and uh, <laughs> all the other uh, stuff that game just brought up for us, okay? Mr. Bear, what's that over there? Getting my ass kicked by my friend Boone. In guilty gear. All right. Is Boone over the meth bit? You know, you never really can tell with him. Um, thanks again to Kiwo for recommending not for broadcast. I, I don't know what I expected, but it's somehow exceeded my expectations, you know? So thanks again. 
I'm, I'm already excited to finish it. Oh boy, he's calling. He called me immediately. Hey, buddy. Hello. Hello. So I can give you a basic rundown of the game, but they've added a lot of new mechanics and I don't even know what they are. Okay. <laughs> um, but when you start the game, you're going to probably have a tutorial you have to do. So I hope okay. you're ready for that. it's, it's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be so bad guy and he's going to, can we cuss in this? Am I oh, we can, yeah, we can cuss. Just not the, the really bad ones like Quim. I just learned that one. What's that? It's another British slang for vagina. They already have them. Like, how many of those do they have? I don't know. But they Jesus got another one, apparently. Christ. I don't know if it's a new one or if it's an old one or... I've literally <laughs> never heard it until now. So. I, 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 it doesn't sound right. It sounds made up, dude. Yeah, it's, it's messed uh, up. Um, so I'll give you a basic rundown of the game. I can't... I'm not going to give you a good rundown of the game. And then from there, uh, I'm just going to kick your ass. Yeah. Or you could fight viewers, too, at the same no, time. No, 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 no. No? No, I, want... I already told them you don't know how to, you know, pull punches. It, it's like it's like when you're playing, you know, your little cousin, and you just <laughs> go all out every single time. <laughs> that's how Octo taught me. He didn't hold back. He just said, why are you afraid? And that's how I, I got good at the game. My so. expectation is to lose every single match for two hours against you. And well, then... I'm playing a character I've never really played before. So okay. if, you, if you can beat me as this character, then I'm going to... Um... I'm going to pick what, whatever character I think looks, looks the coolest. goofy. Yeah. And then. You oh, can... you're going to pick Faust. You're going to pick Faust. Yeah. He's literally just you. Really? Yeah. No, he's someone... literally yeah. I've you. been told that. Everyone's already telling me I'm going to play he's Faust. Got the, he's got the hands. He's got the items. I, he's really hard to play, though. I don't know about that. I'm. I think I can handle it. You know who you're talking yeah. to here, man? Right. <laughs> I'm a fast learner, okay? I'll, or I, <laughs> I'll just get beat. <laughs> To fucking smithereens <laughs> over and over again. All right, uh, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll do the tutorial and then I'll uh, I'll un I'll unmute and we can. Okay. We can, okay. We can shoot the shit. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. Bye bye. Um, as I mentioned before, guys, this is a sponsored stream. Uh, Arc System Works is having a Black si uh, Friday sale. This is one of the games that is on sale. Exclamation. Uh, what is it right now? Arc SW and also the link below the stream. You click that, you can get um, a bunch of different games on sale. So it's a good time if you're interested in trying this game or any of the others. Uh, this is the new DLC for Guilty Gear as well. Guilty Gear Strive. And, you know, we're going to see how it goes. Guilty Gear. Oh boy. Strive. No OST way up. Uh oh. That OST is a slap, dude. Again? You played a fighting game before. Oh, uh, yeah. I played Super Smash Brothers. I played For Honor. Player name. Okay, I'm back. I, I didn't realize how much stuff I have to do first. Uh, My player name's gonna be Kraken. Oh, okay. What is your player name? Uh... What is my player name? I haven't. <laughs> it should just be Boone. I don't. I don't remember. It's been so long. Yeah, it should just be Boone. I don't remember if there's like a player code, but we can just meet in um when you're ready. Uh, we're gonna meet in like a public lobby where it's just me and you. Um, in Park Forty Two West Coast. 
But don't worry, I'll okay. direct you there when you're ready. Uh... Connection strength, okay. Oh yeah, oh, Sai also, also has this game. Oh yeah, yeah, he can he can join in too if he's uh if he's around. Yeah. I mean, how does it work? I assumed it was just two player, but if we're if... we're gonna well, it, it's like they have Man, a lobby system where we can all just hang out. Oh sick! Much. All right, yeah, I'll yeah, see that. yeah, 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 yeah. So when you're I'd ready, love to hang with Sai. Uh, you you just have to fight Soul Bad Guy, and he's just gonna beat the piss out of you. Soul Bad Guy is that his name? Yeah, it's his. That's his actual name. Um, he's a uh, he's half gear, half human. He sold his soul to the gears in order to fight the ultimate gear made by that man, um, which happens to be the ultimate gear happened to be his wife, who was also turned into a Gundam. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, hold on, slow down. There's a lot. I'm I'm gonna turn the volume down so I can hear what you're saying. You're right now. You're playing Kai Kisuke, who is the prince of uh, France. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's the king of France. Uh, and he made Soul Bad Guy raise his son, who came out of his eye. Came yeah. out of his eye? Yeah, his eye. He, he, yeah. No, his wife's eye. Wait, wait. Oh, his wife's eye. That's not. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, it that's fine. Either, it was either his eye or his wife's eye. No, wait. He plucked this, the the eye out of his son. Oh, he God, plucked the eye out of his son. I can't remember anymore. He stole his son's eye. Yeah, he stole his son's eye so he could do dragon install or something. It's really confusing. Um. This is Soul Bad Guy. Did that. Uh, no, Soul Bad Guy raised his kid, who um, is made out of the, the kid who got his eye stolen. And Soul yeah. Bad Guy is like really old. He's like, how old is he, Chad? He's like over a hundred years old or something. He's old. Um, Soul Bad Guy is the bad guy, right? No, he's the good guy. Uh, no, that's confusing. <laughs> it's really confusing, isn't it? Um, but he, he fights his wife ten times, uh, and uh, because but in like a nice way or in like a. Well, they, they were, well, back before the Gear Wars. Um, the Gear Wars, the Guilty yeah, Gear Wars. Yeah, Is that yeah, okay. well, the Gear Crusades? Uh, I'm gonna butcher the lore, so uh, okay. Daisuke, I apologize in advance. It's been a very long time. Um, there was okay, so a long time ago, Earth was normal, right? But yeah. then Y2K happens, and all technology stops working. Ever, all technology stops working. Oh, so as a substitute, they start I remember using, that. They stop using magic. They start using magic as the new uh, internet and like technology. electricity. Yeah, and Soul Bad Guy is a scientist with a guy called That Man and his wife. And then his wife gets turned into a robot by That Man in a weird experiment. And then That Man disappears. And then he has to fight his wife, who's a giant Gundam, and he stops being a scientist. And then yeah. he accidentally gets turned into a Gear Two. And now he's immortal, and he has to keep fighting his wife over and over again. Wow, and, um, that's romantic, kind of. Yeah, it is kind of romantic, actually. But don't worry, his wife comes back to normal, and she just throws puppets at you now. It's kind of cool. Mm. Um, and now you're fighting your friend, or you're, you're Kai, and you're fighting him. And you're, like, you Psych oh. Burst. Okay, so Psych Burst is like a counter? I don't even... Oh, I, I just don't... Okay, so bursting is like... You're telling people to get the hell off of you, essentially. It makes them move okay. away from you, and it stops their offensive. So let's say I'm, like, comboing you, and you okay, want me yeah. to get away from you, you just burst. And I just go, whoa, and I fly across the screen. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Now, I, I watched... I think you and Strippin play this a bit, and all I know is the dolphin one that goes, like... Oh, that says no! That, that's the only way I know... You want to like, play May? You can. If you I don't want. really want to. I just that's the only one I know. Called yeah. Sudeki, right? Yeah. Called Sudeki. Sudeki. I do, her story is that she's a she's a pirate. <laughs> I love pirates. She's a pirate. She wants to go shopping. She's in love with Johnny, uh, who's the coolest who's person. He wears a fedora. Oh. In a trench coat. He's pretty cool. He's a cool oh, guy. Sounds he, like it. He flips, he throws coins at people, so you know he's cool. Damn. He's he's got really coins cool. to spare? Yeah, have you ever played Johnny's uh, anime Johnny Bravo? Okay, hold on. He is. He is. And also, he's like, he, he's like the pre Wait, hold on. Before I look at the story. No, he's not the president of the United States. I wish someone was here, like, flimsy and garbage there. You know? I think he's the president. He'd be he like the weeaboo president of the United States of America or something. I can't remember. So we can talk about this. Uh, you know how I, I can't talk about drugs? Well, guess what? There's a character who canonically does crack. And he's a warlord. Oh. It's, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot in this game. He's a, uh, he wants to be like Naruto, so he um, became a warlord. And uh, he mimics Naruto's moves, pretty much. So. Oh, he doesn't do crack anymore, though. He stopped doing crack. I... 
I think I beat the tutorial. I didn't really retain much of it. it I mean, it plays like what I imagined a, a fighting game would play. So... Uh, well, all you need to know is your basic combo is... Oh, wait. You don't know... Oh, crap. I only know how to explain fighting games in a way where it's... Well, you're going to teach me, right? And not, and not beat my ass. You're going to teach me, right? I am the worst person to teach you how to play fighting games. I hope you know this. Like I Can Cypher join? <laughs> Can we get Cypher in here? Uh, he wants Cypher in here? <laughs> oh boy, he doesn't... We taught him wrong on purpose. What does that mean? You don't know. You'll find out soon. Don't worry, it's fine. I'm oh, on now my it... way. There's a little pixel butler that's like talking to me about something. Oh, don't don't listen to him. He's actually okay. the main villain. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm customizing. Yeah. Oh yeah, customize. You want to do that? I love the customization for this game. Let's see. Now, if you want, you and Sai can start out fighting, or you can fight me right now just to test your might. Yeah, you know, no, I'll, I'll, I'll start with you. Okay. Do you want me to play my main character, or you want me to play some random character first? Um, random. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Actually, no, main. Like, fucking kick my ass. Show me okay. what what's possible. And then I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be motivated to, to grow. Wow, they actually made the menus way better in this. I'm making a dork. <laughs> Big shoes. Small witch hat. All right, are we on US West Coast? Okay, yeah, so go to US West Coast, go and then um, you're gonna hit right bumper and it's gonna take you to parks after you select US West Coast. Okay. Well, well. Uh, I'm, so I'm watching, make sure you get there first before. A little bit confusing when you first start. Although you're probably doing another tutorial, it looks like. Um, wow, they have more tutorials. Journey to no defeat. You could ignore him. Oh, I can ignore him. Oh, here's all the characters. Okay, okay. Um, there's Johnny. So that's the Johnny Bravo you're talking about. Yeah, he's hard to play too, I think. Okay. Testament looks cool. She's got a scythe and a crow. Uh, they, they they are the coolest. They one of my fucking favorite characters in the game. Um there's also They're super cool. Who's who's Kraken? Wait, uh look for maybe Zotto. No, he wouldn't be able to do Zotto. Chat, what do you think is the most Kraken character? Oh, the Jacko pose. I know Jacko pose. That's his wife. Yeah. Uh, so bad guy's wife who got reincarnated as a oh, okay. well that's half of his wife it's kind of confusing <laughs> half wife yeah yeah it's like the spirit embodiment of his wife uh i, I don't know it, it gets a little crazy people are only gonna let me be faust based on every comment i've seen so okay there's a noble vampire samurai I and mean, that sounds kind of cool too and then there's milia rage forbidden hair assassin interesting chip zanuf he does crack that's the crack one? Yeah, he used to do crack. He's uh he's got a lot like the lowest health pull in the entire game though. Damn. Because yeah. of the crack probably. Yeah, crack crack's really bad. Don't do crack. <laughs> Soul bad guy. Kai Kiski. May. That's the Tatsugogeski, right? Yeah, you're probably gonna end up playing. <laughs> I have a feeling. This is like I have a feeling, dude. Uh Zado. <laughs> I know. Hard Rock Witch seems pretty cool. Uh, Happy Chaos. Oh, he's got a gun. Um, I couldn't. I he couldn't. breathes with his whole body. Yeah, Gunslinging dude. Broken Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is you pilled, actually, if I think about it, honestly. But yeah, I like, also... I like his design. I think he's, I don't know what, what rating he's at. What else you got? What else you feeling? Uh, Bedman. <laughs> Is Bedman question mark a okay. 
So Batman's story is that he was controlled by the Gears to go and do their bidding. Not really controlled. He like volunteered himself to fight for the Gears to save his sister. Okay. And um, he was a guy who who was bedridden and he made a bed mecha, right? And it is a bed, day, you're right. I noticed it yeah, now. And then one day he got killed by uh, Kai Kis robotic clone Robo Kai, who want, who was programmed to kill Kai Kisuke, but got his own got his own personality and his own uh, self awareness, and decided that he wanted to marry. Uh, he wanted to just marry another dude, and then he blew himself up with the other dude there to stop Bedman, and Bedman dies, but he doesn't actually die. He comes back as just a bed. Oh, was his name yeah. Bedman before becoming a bed? Yeah, but now he's just bed. Okay, well that's convenient. Yeah, it's convenient. Yeah. And, and who's the tired too. fellow that's like his, per person? That, that's his. That's his sister, I think. Okay. Yeah, he's just a bed now, though. Um, All right. Yeah, and, and then um, and then oh, wait, but but Robokai oh, doesn't die. He gets gay married to the other assassin guy as a as a robotic head because his body blew up and his head didn't, and he becomes a baker with them, and they run a baking shop. Well, that's kind of cute. Yeah, wait, it's so kind of cute. Yeah. The robot assassin. Which one's that? That's the um, crack one. No, no, that's not the, the. He's not a robot. He's just a guy who watched too much anime and became a crack addict. Uh, warlord. Got it. Got it. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, hold on. Who else we got? Uh, do you want me to explain uh, Faust lore to you? Look, give, give me a little. Well, seat. I'm, I'm, I'm ma making my way there. All right, so we okay. got Bedman, and then we got Sin Kiski, ever growing wild boy. <laughs> so that's the guy. That's the guy who got his eyeball taken by his dad. Oh for yeah. Um, he was raised by Soul Bad Guy because Kai's a bad dad, and Soul Bad Guy was like, I don't know how to raise kids, I'll just feed you sugar water. So he fed him sugar water until he got big and strong. He's it's also like, what, like eight years old? Oh. He doesn't know how sex works. How did he uh, grow he, fast? Uh, he's like, like, magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's like magic. I don't know how old, how old is magic he now? I don't bug. know. Magic he's bug. Magic bug boy. Um. Then there's Baikin. Oh, Baikin, she's um, one of Big the bouncing. few surviving uh, people from Japan because Japan got completely destroyed oh, by no. the by like a gear explosion. It's really it's really crazy actually, and she's like the she's a badass actually. Right. And then she's there's pissed. that's my NG Mito. He looks like a nerd. Um, yeah, he he's like he's kind of simping for for um. Her, the, the previous character. Yeah, Viking. Yeah. yeah, I could tell. Yeah, I don't know. There's not really much about him. He's just a pretty boy. He's just okay. a cool pretty boy, yeah. Everyone hates him. Leo Whitefang. <laughs> That's my boy! This is you? This is you? This is the king of England, dude. Um, the king of England. Yeah, that's the king of England, I think. I'm probably butchering this lore. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's just... He's a pissed off guy. He doesn't... Um, when he goes to war, he doesn't have his men fight. He fights for his men, and uh, he's just oh. a badass. Yeah, he's so he's a king a that does all the fighting. He does. And... Yeah, he's a king that does all the fighting. He's an arrogant dumbass, um, and he's voiced by the same person who voiced Lu Bu. So I mean, he's just a badass. Oh, yeah. Sick. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, there's Faust. Um, okay. Underground so... doctor, deceptive, <laughs> enigmatic, incomprehensible. Okay, so in the original Guilty Gears. Dr. Faust was known as Dr. Baldhead, I think his name, or Dr. Baldman. And uh, he was a bald doctor, but one day, he was like one of the best doctors who ever lived. Right. And one day, he did a surgery that went so horribly wrong that the patient died. So he went insane, and he destroyed the entire hospital. And then he found out later on that it was a conspiracy by what is essentially the Illuminati to make him go crazy, to stop him from discovering the secret of making humanity live forever. So then one day he puts the bag on his head to stop being Dr. Baldman, and he becomes Dr. Faust, and he discovers the secret of making people live for nearly forever. And and then, like, he goes around, like, completely exiled from the rest of the world, and he's trying to figure out why the Illuminati made him go crazy in the first place, and how that the girl he was doing surgery on actually died. But he never really fully does, but he does find out the secret to the back room, which is the secret other dimension to the other world that the, the Illuminati is trying to open up to redestroy the world, but also merge with it. But he doesn't really care about that. He's just a doctor. Anyways. So is he good or bad now? Uh. Next question. Okay. Um, <laughs> Axel. That's that's Octopim, right? Yeah, that's just Octo. Um, I actually have him on my keychain, actually. He's on, I have a little oh, uh, Axel eating a little hamburger. He's kind of cute. Yeah, he's a he's what we colloquially called a uh, zoner. He's just no one likes him. 
because um, he just yeah, keeps yeah. everyone away from him. Um, his story is that he is he is British. Oh, and that means well, and because he's British, that means for some weird reason he can control time, just like Tracer and every other British person. Um, yeah. So he control he can control time, but he doesn't mean to because he's a goofy little guy. He's just a goofy little innocent British guy with little British quips. And he happens to control time, and his girlfriend's Eno, but Eno's like, ah, you're not really a good boyfriend. But he's like, I can be, I'm British. And um, he's just, he doesn't, his password's out of the box. He, they his password's his, out of the box? Yeah, in his theme song, it, his password's out of the box. They say his password in his theme song? Yeah, they say his password in his theme song so that Eno knows his password to his Wi-Fi. It's just confusing. His lore's really huh. strange. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bandom. Wait, what? Oh, oh random. It's random. Yeah. Yeah, it's just random. There's no okay. that's not a character. Uh Potemkin. I know this one. Okay, tell me his lore. Um he's a strong lad that picks people up and throws them. And that's... he's got hooves. Yeah, pretty much true actually. He was a he was a slave for a war colony and oh. one day he was he was like I'm they they made him fight in a super tournament because the super tournament would like grant someone a wish or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Um, and he, and this, his, uh, state made him fight in it and he like was just a soldier. Right. So he never really had his own freedom. And then he fights a bunch of people and he's like, wait a second. I don't have to be a soldier for this slave state. Instead, I'm going to be a soldier for a different country. So then he joins the country of Zepp, which is a giant flying Zeppelin country ran by this crazy general. And he's going around saving everyone by grabbing him. And one day, uh, Robokai tries to kill the president of Zepp. So he grabs Robokai and flies in the air and gets blown up or something. And he, they, they make him into a half robot. Oh. I can't remember so, how he... I can't remember. I, I totally so who does he fight for story. now? Himself? Uh, he, just, he just fights for Zepp. He just fights for, for Zepp. Zepp, the yeah. Zeppelin people. Well, he actually fights for the the enduring, inevitable growth of humanity at all costs. Oh. He's like the, he's like forward facing. He wants to like he's like a all about the Zoomers. Okay, you know? well that's cool. he like he loves TikToks. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, really silly. Bam Bam Lethal Valentine. Um, Ram okay, Ramlethal. Okay, so Ramlethal Valentine was came from the back uh, the back door the backyard the backyard again, which the is where dimension. what Faust found. Uh, well, actually, Soul Bad Guy and that guy found it, but Faust figured out okay. some of the extra stuff to it. Anyways, okay. uh, she was sent to the real world to destroy it by them, but then she was like, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to destroy the world. And then uh -oh. Potemkin stalls her out by throwing her in the fucking air. And then Soul Bad Guy comes in and says, she's like, he's like, hey, you're, you can't nuke the earth like Frieza. You're, um, here's a hamburger and a puppy. And then she's like, oh, I love puppies and hamburgers. And then she decides to become a good guy. Oh. Yeah, no, literally. In her story, the soul bad guy comes and gives her a hamburger and a puppy, and she's like, "Wait, being a human's kind of cool. I want to be a human," and that's literally it. Yeah. Sick. Um, Giovanna. Um, she's the bodyguard for the president, but she's not like other girls. <laughs> I can tell that by looking at her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's a fan. She's kind of cool. She's a newer character. I don't know too much about her story, but she's got a cool dog uh, that fights for her. And also, she's a really easy character. Well, a kind of easy character to learn, and her, her uh -huh. music is really good, too. Every character's song in this game is so good, it made me play fighting games for the first time. So That's sick. Um, That's great. Yeah. Gold well, Lewis Dickinson. Okay, Gold Lewis Dickinson is the Secretary of Absolute Defense. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah. He is so American. He is. So he has a coffin that's from Area 51 that has the spirits of the crashed aliens from Roswell that fight for him. What? <laughs> and he's got a, he's got, he throws down drones and he, <laughs> he has a, a machine gun. And his, his brother is a, a canonical character who is called Burger Sheriff, who eats burgers. Burger Sheriff. <laughs> Burger Sheriff Dickinson? Yeah, also, this guy is based as fuck, too. Um, Man, cool character. he's up there. I, I feel like yeah. I want to play him, too. Oh, he's hard. He's fucking hard, dude. I, Flimsy tried to play him. He got he broke his thumb. Actually, he broke his fighting stick playing him. Oh, God. Um, this is Bridget. Her story, I don't actually know her story. I just know that she was in a village, and then one day she wasn't, and now and she was raised. Which, she, who was she raised by, actually? Yo, yo. She was raised by Gold Lewis Dickinson or something? I can't oh. remember. Yeah, she's she's one of the fucking like fan favorites. Her song also fucks. Brisket. 
Yeah, everyone just calls her Brisket. That's great. Yeah, and then that's great. Ascura R hashtag Master that's, of Sorcery. I think that's that man, the guy who made uh sold bad guy's wife into a Gundam. So this is the real bad guy. I well, he's like a good guy now. Like he's oh, like okay. I didn't I didn't mean to make your wife into a Gundam. <laughs> His code is the galaxy, so yeah. I, I, no, I don't really know. I think he went like he went to the back rooms, and then he was mm -hmm. like, "Wait a minute, I he, like he like knows everything about stuff, but not really. Like he looked into the void, and the void stared back, and now he's like just a guy." Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Oh, I, he also has a funky eye. Is that like a, a thing? I don't a lot know. Of characters have funky eyes. I think I think it's like a reference to like Loki, like you guys eye plucked out for the knowledge uh, or something. Okay, okay. I really I don't know a lot about almost like half the cast, but I'm trying. Um, who did I miss? Oh, I think uh, it's everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, who's Happy Chaos? What's his deal? Happy Chaos is, I think, the other half of that. Well, no, he's the first guy who went into the, the backyard again. Like, he uh -huh. went into that dimension, and no one's really sure where he came from, but they think he's the first person to go in there. And, like, he was, like, a super smart, like, philosopher, but then he just came out, like, a slacker asshole. He's oh. just that he's not like other boys. He's the bad boy. He seems like the bad... Boy, he's, he's, the character was just designed for Daisy. That's pretty much his whole story. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even lying. It's just a Daisy, Daisy bait. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he, he's literally got broken Messiah in his, his title. I, I see it. You can fix him. Yeah. If you can learn how to do his 80 different command normals or whatever the fuck it, it does seem like all the characters I'm interested in are the difficult ones based on the ease of use thing. So that's a little concerning. Uh, no, there's, um, plenty, there's plenty of easy characters. I just... I don't know, um, let me think. Chat, chat, can you, what do you feel like Kraken should play? Everyone said Faust. I, I feel like I, I have to give Faust okay, a shot give, first. Okay, give Faust a shot. You're gonna have to, you know how to Ooh. do special motions, right? On a controller, correct? No. I would look at his, uh, his stuff first because he's got a really important thing, which is item throw, which you're gonna have to know how to do. That's like his whole thing. He throws like, uh, Smash Brother items out on the field. Huh. Yeah. Cypher, I can't fight you right now, dude. I'm trying to talk. Give me a second. He's hitting me with a spear right now. He keeps saying, come. <laughs> okay, so now I'm in the playlist thing. You're saying if I, I can join... How do I find you guys? In your uh, hit, hit pause, and I think you can exit by finding a door, or hit pause and exit. Unless you're like in some sort of force tutorial, I'm not Exit really sure. Exit current lobby. Mm -hmm. Do that. Yeah. Online match. Online match. Then you're gonna once you go to online match, you're gonna hit right bumper and you'll see parks. Network. Oh, it's. I think it's making me do the tutorial. Um. Oh, the yeah, just do it. Yeah, I think. Uh, you could play Geo, you could play Soul, you could play Kai, Mei. Um, there's a few characters you can play. I think that would that would land with you pretty easily. But Faust, you should definitely play first. You definitely give off Faust vibes. Thanks, man. Welcome. So he was Doctor Baldman, and then yeah, he was Doctor Baldman until <laughs> until. The incident. Well, no, he was Dr. Baldman after the incident. I don't know his original name, but he became Dr. Baldman. And then um, Daisuke, the creator of the game, was like, all right, well, actually, um, I'm going to make his character design really cool. So they threw a paper bag on his head, and now he looks actually super sick. Because um, yeah. <laughs> being bald is not aesthetically pleasing, you know? So it's best to hide it. Hold <laughs> on. I think Sci Fi wants him to call. He's like swinging his spear at me. Yeah. Mankind okay. knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Heaven or hell. Oh, I like his animations. Uh oh. 
the music. Yeah, what is with the... Uh-oh. Okay, those are the... That, that's the Smash Bros. items. That's like a must Hi. do. All right, so I see that uh, soul bad guy totally destroyed you. Yeah, um, my rating's I, been affected. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. You're going down. Oof. What floor did you get? What floor? Symphony of Destruction you? Six. Oh, that's not bad actually. What the hell? That's like halfway there. You're average. All right. Yeah. Um, I got to like floor eight when I played. I got to celestial. Like <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> rubs rubs fist on. Shirt. And where are you now? Uh, I don't play anymore, so probably just the default floor they assign you to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> With the rest of us. Look, I got to fight Snake Eyes once, and he kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> so that's all, I, that's all I could ask for. I don't know who that is. He's like the top grappler player of all time. All right. Uh, uh, so is there a bloom setting? My my screen was very blurry when I was playing. Um, I don't maybe ambient occlusion. I don't remember what settings affect what. It might be effects quality or occlusion. Effects quality. Okay, try that. Um, all right. I think I'm in somewhere. I don't know how to join specifically your lobby, but. Okay, so you can back uh, exit to um, menus or uh, the, exit the current lobby. Yeah, exit the, the, the current lobby. lobby. Okay, and and then from select there, region. No. Uh, yes, select you can floor? select not floor. It's gonna be. Nope. Oh, there's no select. Oh, yeah, just select floor. Yeah, sorry. And then you just tab over to parks. Yeah. So right mm. bumper to park. Okay. And then you're gonna pick park forty two. Forty two. Yeah, that's where we always hang out. That's the spot. Okay. Many legendary battles have been fought in West Coast Park 42. Yeah. Hello. Uh oh. Walk down. Come to the center stage. Well, 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 welcome to the stage, Kraken, everybody. Welcome Hi, everyone. to Guilty Gear. Thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome. You get your ass kicked. Step right up and get your ass kicked <laughs> by Boon. You have well, to hit A again. We don't know that for sure yet. Um, Former Celestial oh, okay. Rank Fighter Boon versus Celestial Rank, the level young... 580. <laughs> the new fresh challenger. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's still pretty blurry for me. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'm seeing that too. What is causing that? We're gonna have to fix that. Oh, I think it's because your character needs glasses. Oh, that might be it. 
Scaling resolution set to 25? Oh, yeah. That oh, be the problem. that'll do it. Alright, if I lose, it's because of that. Oh my god, what? Hello? Okay, that's it. Oh. You're pissing me off. Did he catch me with a gun? You're in your anti airing like a motherfucker. My god, what's happening? You're crazy. This motherfucker hit oh buttons. <laughs> I am, aren't I? Oh my god, he's actively super. He's crazy. How'd you know it was an accident? I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> so what is what is burst? Um, so the burst mechanic is when you hit. Oh, well, he might not have that bound for it. No, it's default. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. You know how the burst mechanic or all the things. You can only do it every now and then, though. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is not looking great. No, it's not. <laughs> At least it wasn't perfect. It's been a long perfect. time I played this game. Wait, oh, my controller turned off. Oh, my battery's just died. Wait, 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 wait! Now's my chance! <laughs> Get him! Wait, 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 wait! Okay. Oh, well, I got a glitch in battery. Uh, I brought a giant pack of battery. With I'm surprised with how slowly you, you walk, you know? He is the slowest character in the game. His way in is that Hammerfall movie keeps doing. Mm. But it's very like, oh no, I just mixed up the batteries. Oh, fuck. It says you have a lot of heart in, in offense. <laughs> Because what does heart mean? There's different types of players in, in fighting games. There's different archetypes of players. There's brain, there's body, and there's heart. Heart is like the dumbass guy who just does stuff and just works. Um, <laughs> it's pity points. Uh, <laughs> they uh, they're like the player that just like goes by feel. They play by feel, right? And then you have like, wait, is this? Um, I think this is Octo. Uh -oh. you, can you spectate? Are you able to spectate now? Uh, uh how do you spectate? Th this guy has potbuster.com in his name. This guy I has- I don't think you can spectate. I don't know what to do about scaling resolution. Do I turn it all the way up or all the way down? All the way up. All the way up. It was at a 90. There's some, there's an imposter Potemkin player whose name is, he, he's literally got potbuster.com in his name. Also, when I reconnected my controller, I don't think I can, here, I'll do, do you want to do one more round with a random character? Where's my controller? Uh, sure. Hold on. I think I might need to restart my game. Okay. Give me one second. Someone's saying that I need to bind dash to something else. Um. I bound it to my, uh my triggers okay yeah so i that's... can tell you what bindings i have yeah you let's go into entry character uh and then okay. hit triangle to open up settings okay so if you go back uh the taunt button. so i have r r1 or right bumper bound to dust uh left trigger to dash wait r1 is Right below heavy slash is dust. Dust. D. I have that at, at R1 or right bumper. Okay. And then left trigger oh. I have as dash. Left trigger. I can't give you my controls because they're stupid. <laughs> they're dumb. Yeah, I have that as left trigger. And then uh, left bumper I have as Roman cancel. Roman cancel. Left bumper. Okay. And then what about and then, right trigger? And then right trigger I have a psych burst. Gotcha. Right below Roman Alright. So I have it that's like good like beginner binds, basically. Cool. Thank you. Be careful of that, that potbuster.com fellow, dude. He's dangerous. Uh, should I keep trying Faust or try someone else? Up to you. 
Yeah, up to you, man. You just play what you feel. Uh, um, Gio is really good for new players if you like the look of her. She's got the dog. She do got the dog in her. Mm -hmm. um, Happy Chaos. He feels like he's even harder to play. Oh, he's super hard to play. That's a flimsy character. <laughs> that's 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 like some like you're, you're there's something wrong with you. You're sick. Or Gold Lewis. Gold Lewis is also very hard to play because he does a lot of uh, special inputs. His special he... inputs are weird. Like all of his inputs are like quarter circle in a different direction, and then they're half then, circles. Yeah. yeah, or half circles. If you want, I can play a different character. I'll play like Bridget or something I might, against I might, you. I might try bit Bridget. I could also play. I haven't. I like played tricky. This game tricky in spinner years. is a nice I'll do, description. I'll do. Oh, you want to do one with Kraken then? I'll let you no, go. I'll do I guess. One. Okay. I did not. I have not played this game since 2021, and when I played, I was not good. Ooh, that's nice to hear. That's so, someone. <laughs> probably closer to an even match. Why yeah. is that like a Temkin player now? What happened? This is kind of cool. It's your chat, man. Dude, right. no, they're not. Potbuster.com is not my chat. I don't know who this is. They're scaring me. They want me to fight them. They're they're swinging their weapon at me. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Hey, my screen's definitely so still blurry. I don't know what's causing that. Try to fix that for you. I'm just seeing all these pop players in here. I've never seen pop players went extinct. What makes you unique? I used to be one of the worst characters in the game. I guess they got buffed. <laughs> you want to mess with your settings? I don't. Can I mess if? Well, I'm in here. I don't think I can. You should be able to. Can you I can't open the pause oh, menu. No. It's okay. I'll just squint. Okay. Oh, she's taking her little yo-yo for a walk. What's that? Ooh. Nice Roman cancel. I don't know what that did. So, what is a Roman um, cancel? What, what basically that does is it lets you act right away. So like if you do it after a move, it's a red uh -huh. Roman cancel. And it just skips like end lag on moves, essentially. And it's a combo extender. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Good burst. Oh. Ooh. Why is everyone wa waving at a fucking boat behind us? There's a fight going on. I don't care, man. That shit's every day here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. oh, if your game's still blurry, the fix for it is to set your effects quality to best. Just crank it up to be honest. You got the game Yeah, just crank everything up to max, man. So okay, crazy. okay. This game's actually really pretty. Yeah, this game's got great art. Yeah. Music's really cool too so far. Your swords just keep flying. Yeah, that's like her whole gimmick is she launches her swords. But once I launch them, I'm vulnerable. For oh, them yeah. They come back to me. They're coming back. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, whoa. Just get me out of the corner. I don't know what you're, I'm doing. You're doing, you're doing the ass attack. You're going to beat him up. <laughs> Oh fuck! No! Remote no! Hurt. It's so close! Oh. oh, good fight. 
Man, you barely have pants on, huh? What's the dog doing? <laughs> that dog saved the earth. Really? Actually, technically, spoiler alert, the dog originally died, but then uh, one of the characters brought it back with magic. So now it's a magic puppy that never grows old. And that uh, she loves cheeseburgers. It's really confusing. Yeah, I... Ramlethal's lore is that she was created to destroy the world, but then someone gave her a dog and a burger. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. So she gave up. She's like, she I guess up. I won't. Oh, so the dog the did world. save the world. I understand. That's, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, crank your graphics things to max. Okay. Go crazy with it. Go, just go nuts. Go hog wild. And we'll just take turn sight if that's cool. I'll play some yeah. weird random character. I just um, said a preset best. I haven't played this game in so long. It's so nice coming back. Who do I like? Feel like I wouldn't. I like I like Bridget's move set so far. I don't. I do Mobile not know how to play nice. Gold Lewis Dickinson. I'll just play him and get my ass kicked. <laughs> how do I watch you? Oh, against me. Oh, you play against me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the sign I are just gonna take turns fighting yeah. you, I guess. Boone is such a fake Texan. Well, I don't think he lives in Texas, so... Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, don't really, I wasn't really built to be a Texan. I mean, I lived there for a little bit, but... Well, I lived in Louisiana, but it's like Texas. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah, it looks tons better. So, we aren't, aren't we, like, family? These two? Kinda, yeah. Don't know how to... Don't make me use my gun! Please don't use your gun. I'm using my gun. Oh my god, you use your gun! That's fucked up! You're like my dad or something. See this little arm coming down my coffin? That's a ghost oh god. of an alien. It's the spirits of... What, what planet? Do we know that? Lewis is like a I don't know. Secret service agent who works mm -hmm. He's the Secretary of Defense. Flash is interesting. Oh, you're gonna command grab, you're gonna command grab me from the air. That's impressive. I don't. I'm literally smashing buttons. I'm just doing what I think seems right at the moment. That's how you do it. So your your buttons. Are you gonna, so let me tell you the buttons you're gonna want to use. Okay. Uh, what what controller are you using? An Xbox controller. Okay. So your button from this range is gonna be Y B B. While you're standing, so... Oh, not moving. Yeah, so YBB, there you go. That's like your oh. big combo. And if I'm this close to you, your button's gonna be YY... So if I'm really close to you, it's YYBB. Because you do a thing called a close slash to me, which... Try again. YBB for long range, and then Y... You know, yeah, y, YYB. YYBB B, B for close, so then you have a four hit combo. All right, I'm gonna try to kill you this one time. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are my specials? Oh fuck! Ah damn! <laughs> I almost had you no help. <laughs> hey, that's I. I didn't did not expect you to teach me any buttons today. So this is already you know you're being nicer than I expected. Okay, hold on. We can talk about this. Talk about what? Oh my god! Gun is better than yo-yo. No, I'm just waiting for my threat level to go up. What? Yep. Threat level! Ah! Okay, that's it. I'm pissed. You're lucky I don't know how to play this guy. Yeah, where are my, where are my supers on this guy? Does anyone know? Doesn't every character have the same super system? No. I'm gonna figure out one. Fuck. Oh, that's down the system. Okay. That's my reversal at the end. Oh, the yo yo! Wow. Alright, you told you, you taught me one combo, that's all I used. <laughs> that's all you need? Yeah. Alright, now you gotta fight Sci Fry. I like brisket. Okay, so there's another thing you can do is brisket. So brisket can throw her yo yo out in, in like. You probably seen she throws an extra yo-yo out that just floats there. Um I love blade mode. 
It's open season on all suckheads. Oh my god, am I a suckhead? Yeah. Mankind yeah. knew that they cannot change society. Well, the Goryuki is, so he's like a vampire, but he's like a daywalker. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, you are the vamp- you, This is just Blade. Yeah. The vampire he's samurai? Just, That's so cool. Samurai. His, his story is he's a vampire- he's a samurai, um, but then he got vampired, and then they buried him under, um, like a fucking building. <laughs> and it got better? Uh, no, and then the, the bad guys found him, they said, you're gonna fight for us, and he's like, I guess I was, I'll do it. And oh, so he's a bad guy now. Well, then he, then he was like, I guess I'm not a bad guy. And his song is about how he gets served a medium rare steak at uh, Outback Steakhouse, and it pisses him off. <laughs> it, he just wants rare steaks because he's a vampire. Well, the song is, well done, how dare you? So, yeah, it's Wait, about, it's, your, your heart's going down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in blood rage. I, so yeah, every so. time I use a special, my blood meter fucking goes up. Oh, and if shit. I don't manage it, I go into rage, and it... Oh, but do you like do more damage that way? Yeah, he does more damage and he unlocks certain special. Interesting. Yeah, he can, he gets I have, the I'm cheat. not good at playing this guy. He's always plus until, he, until his high blood pressure gets him pretty much. Like that's, that's all you have to know about him. So whenever you see him yeah, rip his mask off, plus means, man. yeah, I'm sorry. That's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. I knew I'd bump into. I'm so glad you're here because you can teach him better than I can. Because I just I can, swing the sword, bro. I can only speak in <laughs> stupid words. I just be swinging words. this shit. I mean, listen, that's basically what happened when Flimsy was teaching me Street Fighter, is that he would say fighting game words, and then I would figure out what they I meant, would... and then translate them. Yeah, that's usually when everyone fought me, like Octo and, and Flimsy and Garvey Day and Joe tried to teach me, but they just said alien words at me, and so they just gave up and beat the fuck out of me over and over again. <laughs> that's how I learned how to play. Octo and me play the same exact character, but he never taught me a single Whoa. thing other than stop being afraid. That was it. Stop was being afraid is a good, it's a good lesson. He beat the fuck out of me. He beat like a hundred to one, and he said stop being afraid, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> yes, Sensei. I just said Sephiroth right only plays sword characters, and I believe them. It's the smashing him, dude. It's, it's in there. The oh no! Wait, you you only play the swords in Smash? Dude, come on! Unbelievable, you can't, you can't dude. The Smash allocation. Dude. I don't even play Smash, dude. I just watch competitive melee. Classic That's like sword guy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Make me the Smash guy. You're the most Smash guy I know. Yes, Oof. that's probably true, but that doesn't make me the Smash guy. Sadly, it does. Until we find a more Smash guy than you. Uh oh. Oh, he's going Blood Rage. He's going to Blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? He hit me I with the power of a thousand. <laughs> what was that? that was I want to learn how to super. super. Yeah, you can peep the he's command so list. Tell me when you're ready to fight another random character from me. I'm, I, I want to try another random character, too. The cool thing about the command list in this game is that when you hover over move, it'll show you the input and it'll also show you a video oh. of the move. So you can I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Octo Pimp. Are you ready? I have no idea how to play this. Um, oh wait, <laughs> can I, I? I can't change my character once I'm in here. Oh, oh you can back out. Back out and then do okay. entry. Hit, hit hit pause and then you can go to character entry character and that's where you select it. Um. All right. I'll try. We filled up this park. Look at these, the, all the viewers here. Me. Wow. Should I try Testament, the elegant Grim Reaper? Yeah. It's so fucking hot. It is super cool. <laughs> all right, Sephiroth. So well. It's okay. You said what you wanted. It's all right. Change the VO to English for Octo? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to, yeah. You gotta hear Octo go, what the fuck? Alright. Are you ready?
say I only play grapplers, so it's gonna be easy for you to kick my ass. Anything outside of that, it's gonna be it's gonna I, be a cakewalk. See, I like I like Zangief in Street Fighter, so I feel like I would probably like to try a grappler too at some point. Oh, you should play. Yeah, you should play Pi. I just don't know how. What? <laughs> you have the special skin. The fuck is going on? That's so badass. What the fuck? That they can be your angel or your devil, and it's me, British yeah. time control. Cool way to lose, mate. 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 Fine. You have until my tea is ready. Oh, they're pretty I, cool. Chat. Where are my moves? <laughs> how do I do Rinson? Someone tell me how to do Rinson. I know one of you's. A, I, I know one of the viewers, Dylan. Dylan. What's Rinson? I know you're a fucking. Arr, arr, arr. He, said, he said five T and J S. Okay. Oh yeah, shit. JS. This fucking move. This move. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so first time Shatter said four six S. But the four is a dragon. I don't know what to make of that. I don't speak fighting games, all I know is six P. Oh. I'm good. Fuck I, I got off. all the information I needed. Right, I'm assuming that, like, I'm like medium range because of the scythe. You're a bit. You're like, you like to poke and then get in off of your pokes, but you need to use your scythe because you, you throw goop, goop everywhere and you teleport. From the okay. How do I throw goop and how do I teleport? It's probably a, a quarter circle move. I'm gonna look at Testament's command list while you're playing so I can tell you what you're doing. Okay. You're, Wait, you're the, that move? You you're the guy move? in the okay. chair. Oh, hold forward punch really quick. Forward punch. This wait. This? That that move is used to be the most terrifying move. That's like your anti-air. Like you jumping at me, dumbass, die. It's also a really good move to use in general. Uh, that move is awful. Forward and then triangle or circle is like a big flash for you, Kraken. Quarter circle forward. Yeah, Can you so say that like, for dummies? So like if you move the stick from the down position to the right position in a quarter circle motion. Down position, like would, yeah. Like you were doing a Hadouken, and then you hit triangle or circle at the end of that. It changes. Uh, As it changes? Oh, like that. Yeah, so if you do triangle at the end, the projectile goes oh. forward. Who's that? If you do circle, it goes forward. That's when you're sucky by, and you can teleport to them. Oh, how? Uh, size? Uh. So your whole your whole game plan is to get yeah uh, to hit me one of those quarter circle backwards and then X. Oh, oh and when you, oh, that was actually good what you just did there. So what you just so did. Not X, uh, a, you're under a. So that's okay. So that's how I send the thing, and then quarter back. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, interesting. When you hit yeah. me with a crow, you do more damage. It's like a you like debuff me sort of. So. Why did it say danger for me? Because you're not doing it. There's a thing oh. called. Oh wow, I'm gonna lose because I let you beat me up. Um, if you don't fight, the game is. It, it's just saying you're being a coward, and you just get like a debuff, pretty much. Yeah, you get a debuff. Oh you shit. Run. I keep actually doing my command normal. That's it. Wake up super randomly. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what's funny? People can probably tell I play fucking... Potemkin because I don't ever run. I just walk forward as any character I play. <laughs> walk uh, forward. I don't. I don't use the run button. I never run. I just walk. Uh, okay. That's cool time. though. That's like powerful. I respect Ooh, that. Pot, Pot doesn't have a run button. He just kind of. Just oh really? Like, <laughs> yeah. He just is very. He's like one of the. He has no air dashes. He has. He has no movement options other than hammerfall. Well, actually, he's a new one, apparently, where he turns himself into a rocket. How do I do that? I'm gonna try Johnny Bravo.
they brought back ICPM, I think. What? Let me see. Are you ready? Scotty the Ghost, thank you for the three year recent. Appreciate oh man, that. you're playing Johnny Bravo? Hell yeah, I am. His whole thing is that he does high low. Well, oh, I don't know what that is. He's he's a tricky asshole. <laughs> yeah. He's just an asshole, dude. He teleports behind you. He's a teleports behind you kind of guy. Oh, uh, okay. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. I like all these like. Two, three, sixty. Okay, thank you so much. Whoa. Too easy. Where's Cypher's sword? Uh, it's, it's oh, it's the hair. out of my hair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> nah, that checks so, out. Millia's lore, I'll give you a little lore rundown while you two fight. Uh, Millia's okay. lore is that she's a part of an assassin's guild, and they're all bass, badasses, and it's ran by a vampire um, who can teleport behind you, kid. Oh. And um, she's in love with this guy called Zato, but Zato is this assassin who... Um, he gets possessed by a uh, wild demonic beast uh, that takes control of him and puppets him. It turns him into a human puppet. And then one day he uh, gains control back and he's like, damn, I really love Milia Rage, but I can never truly love her because I lost all of my emotions to the shadow demon. Mm. And then uh, he gets a really cool Disney song. Um, oh. <laughs> He'll be on the exam, so you better be paying attention. Okay. Disney song. Oh, you're fucking turning to a moon hair? Yep. Joker's just a clown. Joker's just a clown. I know anyone in this lobby. There might be some cool people in here. A lot of uh, Guilty Gear streamers like to stream snipe people who are new and beat the fuck out of you. I'm not fighting anyone but you two. Okay. You should fight someone if you want. I I know I know some of these people. Ooh, there's a lot of people in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Obama's here. Real? Yeah. Oh. oh no! No, the hair bit. You disconnected a piece of your hair. What do these cards do? Uh, I teleport to those? I think that that allows you to fly up to them and you can do high lows off of them. Mm. So you can like make people either think that you're gonna attack them from a high position or a low mm. position, but I have no idea how it works. Good luck with that. Fuck off of that Beyblade! <laughs> oh, so he's got a cane? It's like a oh, really big sword, but he also him. attacks with the sheet. Can I fight mm. you as uh, Brisket? Yeah. I wish I knew Brisket's lore. I really don't. Uh, she's relatively new to yeah? No, she's been in Guilty Gear since like the first one. All I know is that uh, Gold Lewis helped her discover her gender identity, ready? which is Fog. Yeah, that Gold Lewis is Lewis's base is Fog. I'll try Faust again. Okay. I'm stuck trying to get in the lobby. Hold on. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Look at all the people fighting. Yeah, look at all of them. Look at this, they're all here. 
We caused so much battle. Hold on, I'm trying to fight you, but I'm stuck. Uh, give me a few seconds. Okay. Look at all those peons on the floor below us. <laughs> I like how they're all intentionally below us, actually. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> they, and they're not like Look fighting for the main fight. stage. All right, now yeah. try to fight me. Okay. Oh, you're going to. You, okay, I want to say one thing about uh, Faust. Mm. If you look, you should look at his fucking shoes, dude. Like, he's got. there. I did a tier list rating every character off of their shoes. He has the best drip out of any character. Did he win? <laughs> Oh yeah, he did, dude. You should see his fucking sneakers, bro. He is rocking them. Look at Ooh. those, man! They come out of nowhere with the scrubs and everything. Yeah, dude. He's, he's crazy. Oh my god, you're so much taller than me. Oh my god, this is like That's a scary. Oh my god. Stop. Try to learn. Hold on. So what is what is that? Knife Aha! Thing? Okay, I remember now. What's the what thing do? The knife thing I do. The knife thing. There, I don't know. Oh, that, the fuck was that? That is your uh, mix-up move. It's, you can also do an instant command grab off of that. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a dust. Also, a funny thing about that dust, if someone throws a projectile at you and you time it, it you can actually hit it away. I oh, think. that's sick. Yeah, I don't know if that's still a thing. Or, or maybe that was Exert. I don't remember. What's that one? That's I think a it's low the... attack. Oh, it's a low attack. Okay. Yeah, it's a really low sweeping attack. I want to learn Faust. I like Faust animations are cool. Yeah, they're really funny. Do his taunt. Do his taunt really uh, quick. I don't know if I have the taunt. Whoa! Oh, I just love even just seeing like getting out of this the crouch. Not, this is animal. Dude, go crouch and walk back and forth. This is Look this is literally how I wake up in the morning. By the way, I just <laughs> do. <laughs> it's me getting this out of bed. The main thing is the item throw. So punch and punch and uh, quarter circle forward. So down down to uh, forward and then quickly hit and punch that and just do that a bunch of times. Oh yeah, see that's his whole thing. Afro. If I'm, do all these wanna, have different, have different oh functions? Oh my god! So that would okay. So that's trumpet. Whoever grabs trumpet first, it summons. Yeah. Huh? That that one's a neutral one. So whoever grabs yeah. trumpet wins. Throw another okay, one out cool. really quick. That's hammer. It hits me in the head, and it, it it's not. It's kind of an intimidating button. Do mm -hmm. another one. Trumpet again. Usually what you want to do is run towards trumpet. That's wait. It, it guard breaks me. Uh. So that, that allows you to run in at me. Um, what else is there? I had to learn this match of his pot. That's banana peel. If I step on banana peel, I slip, and you yeah. get a free, you get free Okizume off that. You get free uh, Ooh. offense off of it. That's his run. Yeah. I love it's, it. Yo. Yeah, it's so good. He scurries. So what you is that? What? That I don't know. There's things about Faust that people. He's canonically the only character that can do things that no one understands how he does it. Because he doesn't have magic powers. Yeah. So no one. Yeah, no one really knows how he works, dude. Like, like throw another item at me really quick before you run out of time. Oh, sorry. You're gonna win. I'm just letting you learn. Uh, I'm hoping you get meteor. So there's one move he gets that's meteorite, uh -huh. and it causes meteors to pour onto the battlefield, and you just get free. You're just safe to do whatever the fuck you want when you get it. It's a one in, uh, I think, twenty chance of you throwing meteor out. Mm. Each item is tied to a chance. Yeah, um, yeah. Most of them are favorable to you. One of them, you, if you notice, throws an afro out, and if the enemy player steps on it, they get an afro. And if you do a jump heavy kick, uh, you you set their hair on fire, causing a lot of damage to them. Really? Yeah. It also does chip damage. Yeah, also your super is that you run people over with a wheelchair. Yeah, also your other super is if you do the throw button really fast, like five times, you throw a thousand items out in the battlefield. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, my, my mid, mid, mids don't hit you when you're crouching. Oh, this is gonna be weird, dude. <laughs> How do I fight you? Afro. Go get it, I dare you. Oh no, I have an afro! Wait, how do I do it? Look at her, look at her. It's jump, That's amazing, jump. it changes your hair color. It's jump Wait, heavy kick. You'll throw it, you'll pull out a I don't know which one the kick is. You'll figure it out. Now it's too late. 
You'll, you'll, you'll pull out a giant syringe when you do it, so... I'm gonna do my command grab. Come on. Come here. Oh, there it is. Rock the baby! Rock the baby! Oh! Dude, I love this Oh my game. god, I love that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? He just went, what? Okay, I'm gonna be really mean to you now. Not if I'm mean to you. <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> that was sick. Nice side fry, you're in. <laughs> you can eat an item? Is that what I did? You can eat an item. Uh, you can eat people. You, you're okay. Oh, dude. Cypher, could you let him command grab you? What's I don't command? know what the yeah. input's in for it. Let him right? command. Look let me command grab you. You'll have to look at the input list. So he... Okay, yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can do that. It's been so long. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. Just switch your character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go to command list. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So Mario on it. Reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts. Oh, he's Who's the beast, this? by the way? Uh, humanity. we reflect on. Yeah. And blame... Blaming okay. the beast. I'll be blaming them for shit all the time. <laughs> I'll create no, we're not doing normal teach. grab. I want to do the com I want to teach him the command grab for Faust because it is going to be funny as hell. I'm already looking it up. Versus, it's like any other command grab, right? Oh, okay. It's quarter circle forward B. Quarter circle. So it's down forward B. Yo, Sat, let this? me command grab you. Yeah, let me get close. You gotta get close to this girl. Wait. Oh, was... I'm sorry. It's actually his, <laughs> is this his normal grab? Okay, just do a normal grab. So walk up to him and just hit your grab button. Your normal grab uh, button. I don't know the grab button. Forward buttons. and right bumper at the same time. Hmm? Yeah, you eat. Oh! Jesus! Yeah, you, you get the big belly and everything. And you get the sound effects of the big belly. Ugh. It's really gross. Don't worry about your command grab button is fast right now. Just worry about throwing items out and hitting them with your really strong low attack. That's how you're gonna beat them. Also, keep in mind, Kraken, whenever Scythe. Don't touch me! <laughs> oh, you don't touch me! I love the RC! No! Oh. Medicine. <laughs> That's cool. I like him. I'm gonna try to give you a super too. You really need to do a super. It's fun. I fucking love this game, man. Dude, how do I explain this? Okay, so if you have full meter, Kraken, or do you, if you have half meter, um, if you do forward, quarter circle, ba uh, quarter, uh, half circle back, or excuse me, quarter, no, half circle back forward. So in other half. words, yeah. so in other words, Okay. You're gonna go from, 
You're gonna hold forward, backwards, forward again, and then you're gonna hit B forward, when you have half meter. Forward again, B. Okay, you so gotta a, go a like little, a little shimmy. Full half circle motion with it. Oh. So you gotta go like down. Forward, down, yeah, left, you're down, right. You're drawing, you're drawing, you're drawing yeah. half of a pizza. You're drawing half of a okay. pizza. Okay. Yeah. Move back and forth. But you yeah, start forward and then. Like you and you go circle, back. You do the circle backwards and then end forward. Half, half pizza so you have beat. to have your meter at the bottom. Okay, okay. It. It, it, so it's a half, half tension? Yeah. Oof. Wait, why did that hurt so much? Because I had both my swords. Oh. Oh, fuck. Just corner pressure. You're going crazy, dude. You're flying around the screen. Oh, my fuck. So, like, okay, I, I, I think I understand the sword thing. That's cool. I like. Yeah. But, so you play really differently depending on if you have your swords or not. Yeah, if she runs yes. out of her sword, she's fucked. <laughs> yeah. You really only want to throw swords at her if someone's oh. in the corner. That's how she maintains her pressure. Yeah, you're ready for Evo, man. Let's get you in there. <laughs> right, hold on, so wait. It's, oh, I, I wasted it. I like his range too. Now that I think about it, yeah, the fact that you just can contest someone if they if, if both of you don't know how to play that well, or if you're not that experienced, just having long range is ridiculous in this game. Yeah, yeah. True. It, it's so useful. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to humble you really quick and then I'll switch back to a random character. <laughs> I'm ready. I do want to try the special though. Can I do the special? Yeah, I'll let you do the special to me. Okay. When we when we get you meter, we'll we'll actually do that first thing. Um, so at the start of the match, just walk Are forward. Just just don't don't hit button. Just walk forward. Oh God. Oh, I'm also Faust. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Let me. You're gonna beat the fuck out of me anyways. Might as well. All these people. I love seeing the community this lively. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. It's it's half pizza B. They're okay. Mix 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 is really good. It's Man. a multi hit attack. It's like a multi hit tornado. Are you ready? Oh my god! Look how many fucking points you have. Five hundred and eighty million. What is that? I don't know. I don't pay attention anymore, man. Don't think too hard about it. You'll be fine. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Okay, just walk forward or just run. Run forward with me to build meter. <laughs> As you can see, moving, moving forward in this game builds your tension meter and doing attacks builds your tension meter. Yeah, yeah, so the, yeah. game, the game rewards being offensive. Okay, I like now that. you have I like that a lot. Okay. Now, so it's now what you're... half pizza starting backwards. It's it's a half pizza starting wherever you're facing. So starting. forward, forward. It's gonna no. take a few times. Okay, watch oh. this. Oh. <laughs> Is that your butt? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. That shout not do Every character has a different animation too. Every character has a different animation. All right, you can kick my ass now. Thank you for letting me see that. So every character has a different animation for getting special? Yes. Oh, that's him crazy. Yes, absolutely. Let me see if I can do his new move. Oh. He's got a new move? Yeah, they gave Pot new moves because he used to suck. 
I forgot half of my normals go over you. Oh, that's unsafe. To oh, do. fuck. <laughs> that move you just did is really good, but you can back away near the end of it. If you don't, I can do whatever the fuck I want uh, to do. Okay. Yeah, it's a very, as we call it, an unsafe move. You're not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna be mean to you now. <laughs> so this move's gonna be. This move you're gonna hate. You're gonna learn. Oh. Oh my fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry, I've been holding back on you with every character this whole time. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> You're killing him? Oh wait, I stopped my mod! Oh dude, hold on, let me show you something. Let me show you guys Your something. Mod? This is m I have a mo I have special mods for all uh, that my friend Roy made for me. My victory screen, my guy has a hologram of Warchan pop up. Yeah. Oh, that's super cute. This game has crazy <laughs> mods. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I just posted a picture of it. Here, I'll show it. Don't beat me up while I'm showing your brand. Okay. <laughs> also, when that. I super, a bunch of baby seals pop up. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. Yeah. It's super, super cute. Oh my god, so I just can't be on the ground when that happens? You have to block or you can jump, depending on how you feel. Okay, you've done so much you there. I hate that little puppet. Damn, what the hell? What's going on with you today? You're getting, you're getting... Who's I wanna set your fucking hair on fire! It's not fair! You almost oh, did I it. almost got it. You almost did it. <laughs> what am I gonna do? 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 Wait, this is my new move. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out what my ICP aim is. Oh, he got me. Yeah, what was my ICPM again? I forgot. Oh, it's Dust, I think. So this works. This is a new movie. So what is die. what is Dust exactly? Oh, he's air grabs now. Wait, what? I can. Oh wait, don't no, you always say air grabs? I'm a goofy. Uh, dust attack is a special kind of attack that you can do. Why, I don't know why no input came out. Absolutely. Oh, wrong. I tried to back up. It was too late. I tried to do my car inputs again. I can't. Oh no! Oh. Ooh, okay. Why are my inputs not coming out? Hello? Whoa. My controller's dying. Oh no! Oh! Damn. Oh, it's not out yet? Damn. The new okay. moves? Yeah. All right. It's your Don't time. worry. New move drops January 7th. <laughs> this is fun. I like this game. Dude, this game yeah, is this awesome. is a good one. My controller's dying on me. I'm about to yoink your splunky. Uh-oh. I'm like feeling it my wrist though, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Also, after this match, you should go into your character settings and set uh, background Man, music and stage to random. So oh, yeah. You get to hear the other music. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the back rooms we're in right now? This is Faust's stage, yeah. And yeah. it's also Faust's music. Oh. Controller, I'm using Xbox 360. Commencing assessment of the target. No for insurance. Faust versus Ramlethal. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh. I'm hella rocking at this game now. Oh my god. 
Ooh, what was that? Is it a grab? Ooh. Oh, did you do the stick attack? You can uh, poke someone and, and fish in the real gun if you do yeah. that, right? So that move you just did, if you do another motion oh. with it, you can... You yes! Can... I was trying to knock you to the bomb, it worked! Woo! Yeah, this is definitely a character. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel it too. Yeah, I'm a fraud, guys. I'm sorry. I was always a fraud. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I've only ever been money smart. Never money smart. smart. Never book smart. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I, yeah, I they really feel like they're ago, close often. I never often. learned, uh, I never learned yeah. combos or anything. Yeah. How many players play? Okay, let me try to remember her moves. Uh, Dolphin. Yeah, well, no, there's a lot more to her than that. Oh, I should try Dolphin Girl. You'll really like her. You have to know how charged characters work, but I think we'll figure it out pretty quickly. Look, if, if it me JP can play her, you can play her, okay? Is that the bar? Yeah, that's the bar, dude. Oh, you almost hit me with that grab, dude. I saw it. Urgh. I saw that lust in your eyes. <laughs> you wanted it. Oh! Oh! Close. Even I... Ramathal shoes are pretty good. You know? I mean, she's not wearing shoes, but I, I'm not trying to be weird here, but like, I, I don't know. She's got good shoes. Little bandage yeah. wraps. Yeah. Not that I'm into that or anything, but. Bandage wraps. Bro, that's barely a shoe at all. <laughs> they <laughs> yeah, keep I don't her feet her from getting. Thing. They keep her grippers from getting, getting too no, dirty. No, man, she, she's got her grippers out because she floats. Oh, she ready. doesn't have to worry about that shit. Uh, okay. Change. Entry character, Katsugeki. Yeah, and, then if, and if you press start uh, options, you can just do random song. Ah. Damn it, I'm stuck in my thing. Give me a second. Relentless it... Girl is her title. <laughs> oh, listen to her theme song, actually. Oh, he's got to hear her theme song. All right, so I guess I won't do the random song yet. No, uh, go on player one side. So the side I'm on, I'm stuck on the oh. thing, though. You're gonna... hey, whoever's on player one gets to hear this, the music. Ah. Uh. Give me a second. I'm gonna switch to Faust. Player one on the left side. Set language to Tatsugeki. Oh wait. Does it be Japanese? Oh true, yeah. Set your language back to Japanese. You get the Tatsugeki. All right. How do I Tatsugeki? So, it's backward for like. I'll show you how when we get in. Okay. So, her whole game plan is to to make you not like her. Um, oh. that's it. Um, so what you do is May is, I believe it's punch. There's there's two different variants. There's oh it's slash and heavy slash. So it's Y and B. So hold back for a second or two. It can mm -hmm. be down back or just backwards, and then hit forward and hit Y or B. It's like a charge up. Yeah, so, yeah, like that. Just do it a bunch of time. Practice. Yeah, so the Y version and the B version. You have to hold back and then forward. Back and then forward. Yeah, but there's oh. You have to oh, wait okay. a second. Like, less than a second. It, it's, like, really fast. You can hold You can hold block back, oh. like, down and back like this and do it and charge it so people don't know what you're planning. 
Um, and that way you can also block low, or you can just do it standing. It's gonna take some practice to get used yeah. to. You just have to do it very fast. It doesn't, and you don't have to charge it that long either. So here's what I'm gonna do to you. You can also oh. charge it. Hammers! By doing, uh, How'd you get like four hammers in a row? The fuck? Yep, I can do that. Oh my god! Now you can see the power of Faust. You're gonna blow up. Bye. Nuh uh. You're gonna blow up! Oh. <laughs> Tried to and knock him back Faust, at you. And that's Faust's game plan. <laughs> Just throw shit. Yeah, he's fun. And depending on what item lands, you can get really offensive with him. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not playing him exactly correctly because I don't know how to fucking play him. But Meteor! Oh, I canceled it. That would have been oh. crazy. You would have gotten to see Meteor. I didn't know you could cancel his item throws now. That's cool. You also have a projectile Kraken if you do quarter circle backwards and then... Oh, yeah. Quarter circle do that. backwards. Yeah, you oh. have a little steal. Terrible move. <laughs> Oh my seal! Fun. Wait, you can hit, you can hurt my seal. Oh my god! I think I'll stick to fast. Sorry, I went a little too hard. <laughs> I was gonna store items and throw later. Oh, can you? Interesting. Was that always a thing? I don't remember that being a thing. Then again, I've never really seen a Faust do that. They usually just throw out whatever the fuck they have. Mm. I can see the Potemkin punk combos in Boone's Brain. <laughs> Alright, Sides, it's your turn. Alright, let me look at this command list real quick. Because I've never really played this guy. Okay, I'll fight him, I'll fight him while you're going. Uh, let me play yeah, Giovanna. Yeah. Never really played her before. I'm gonna play Kai, I think. Wait, let me do the uh, random. Are you ready? That's all right. Is left side player one? I can't remember. I think I fucked up. Whoopsies. So I heard birthday train. We love birthday train. <laughs> oh yeah, no, player one's left side. I'm so sorry. You're gonna hear birthday train again. Birthday train. Yeah. Why play her? Why would player one be right side? I don't remember, dude. So, what is the command grab again? Or just the normal grab? It's just. Uh, forward and then uh, dust. What is dust, though? Uh, it's this move. It's the move that it's always come out, that comes out orange. It should be. Oh, yeah, that. One. that. Yeah, okay. just hold forward and dust. Uh oh. Yeah, your dust is bound to right. Oh. My wife! Okay, I'm gonna get a little Yonky Splunky on you. Oh. Oh, that's do? that's it. Interesting. I feel like if he used his armors a bit better, he could probably do his grab from farther away. Little dog foot. <laughs> Little dog foot. Little dog foot. Oh, he turned green at the end. Yeah. She has like a super mode where she goes cyber psycho and you kick the shit out of you. Oh. Yeah. By the way, Chad, if you're a fan of Guilty Gear, be sure to check out that link as the new DLCs are on sale. <laughs> this is a sponsored oh, stream. And if you like what you see, it's always helpful to click the link. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, I didn't look at that command. Um, all right, where's the random, is it battle settings? Random music. Oh, 
Entry character? Okay. Look, I always have birthday train playing, so. Yeah, entry character, and then you hit start. A little, uh... Oh. Wait. Ah, random. Um. All right, who else do I want to try? Oh, there's so many characters. I want to be the ghost bed. Okay, I, I have no advice for you on him. I don't. I've never played against them, so I haven't played that long. We also got to move over one to the right. Because there's a viewer in the center who really wants attention. Oh. Stole center stage. Shame. Shamepotemkin.com. Yeah, go away. Yeah. You stay in your corner. <laughs> he's pissed. He's hitting you me with a spear. Him. He walked away. He's walking away, sadly. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven. Riggy. So does she fight too? Or does the bed no, like just kinda oh, let me handle this? <laughs> what? I don't know why she's here. Because she they, because they couldn't just have it be bed, you know, it's just like a bed. Bed, <laughs> bed man. <laughs> Feels like it's dangerous to have her in the battle. Yeah, she's just afraid all the time. Yeah, she's just hiding in every move. Yeah, she's hiding in every move. I guess you like controls the bed. I don't know, <laughs> but there's a bed. Stay away from her. <laughs> um, can you tell me the info for Dragon install? Uh, uh, just spit. Just turn butter and hit heavy slash. I'm sure something will happen. What the fuck does turn butter mean? Just do like a three. <laughs> just spam your. Just go in circles and hit B. Once the ah. comes out. And that's red the lightning. Oh, uh, dragon install. You have to be low in health. Yo, uh, composite. Mm -hmm. uh, composite main. Uh, two three six. Uh, two three six. HS. Yeah, Earth in English. I'm At thirty percent health. <laughs> It's double Air. double quarter pizza. Double Pushes quarter up pizza. glasses, inner then, in English. Bed man, transform into bed. <laughs> double quarter pizza, uh, beat. <laughs> I know what a circle is. I don't. Okay, well, you, you want me to explain this to you like a baby? You want me to explain to you with the fucking quarter quarter circle for, forward and then what but <laughs> Beat. Heavy slide. Okay. At 30% health. You have to be at 30% health to drive the install. And it takes I'll get you there. Right? Oh! Stop hitting the little girl. Okay, now you can drag it in. Oh. You probably haven't done it. Oh, you probably already did it. Oh. I was trying to do it. I messed up the inputs. Now run it back. Run it back, all right. Run it back, two out of three. Change society. Dual one. Oh yeah, we could do two out of three. Actually, that'd be more interesting, huh? Like he turns into a car. I sort of play this character, so I'm learning what his buttons do. But he's yeah. very basic. I is like the all rounder, like, tutorial character, basically. Oh my god. Get out of the corner! No! Bed man? No! Dude, that bed is so huge! How do I get over it? 
<laughs> you don't. I like how they were originally, I think they were thinking of just bringing him back as a bed. And they were like, we can't just have him be a bed. There's no man on this bed. It's yeah. just a bed. What if the bed was a man? Bed man? What if the bed was a man? Well, if you look up the original bed man, it's just a guy stapled to a bed. <laughs> it's the same bed frame, but with a guy stapled to it. Yeah, and then they were like, what if the bed became the man? <laughs> also, he has like a really, uh, actually, he has a cool super where he has like a... I don't ever, oh dude, I wish we had enough time to look at all the supers from all the other Guilty Gear games, because they are crazy. I mean, it's so cinematic. That was like one of the coolest things so far. Help. <laughs> I, I see how Bedman works. It's very in-your-face aggressive. Well, big, big uh, Bedman, Bedman's a set, uh, he does weird goofy things where he can Bedman. set up different, uh, he can like reverse time and do crazy shit, I think. At least what? in the original game. Yeah, he can do weird shit. But he's shit. not I'm British. Actually... Yeah, that's true. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> Alright, let's see how your bed man handles against Potemkin. No. No, dude. No. <laughs> no. Play... Oh, wait, okay, you want me to just play something? Okay, I'll play uh you pick the character for me and I'll play the character. Uh Happy Chaos. So you want me to lose? Okay, that's fine. Well, I, I, I just want to see how his move set. I don't Is even. I don't remember how to play him. How do I pull out gun? I think it's just hit him with a slash or something. He's a he's the character where you have to manage five meters. Oh. Um, yeah, and if you ask certain pro players, they say that he should be removed from the game. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he's fucking awful in good hands. He's really annoying, basically. It's always his turn. I'll play um, Batman. You want me to play Batman? I'll play Batman. I'll lose, but I'll play Batman. Or not Batman, uh, Happy Chaos. Yeah, I'm gonna try Go Lewis. Okay, okay. So all of his moves are just pizzas? Pizzas. Yeah, Pizza Love Y pizza. or Pizza character. Pizza Pizza B. Uh, you do a bunch of crazy pizza attacks. But they're all half they're all half pizzas. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to finish with a circle in any direction. Yes. And you don't have to do you don't have to finish with a forward. You can just do a pizza. Just do a okay. half pizza in any any direction. Yeah, it's called the Behemoth Typhoon. They're really hard to execute, oh, but you'll get used to it. I don't remember how to fucking pull my gun out of this guy. Give me like a second to figure out how to gun. You're probably not gonna let me. Oh go ahead. Oh, okay. Ah! Uh, you didn't well, say you're gonna use it. Forward Y is your I don't know how to reload. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, this character. <laughs> you're really making me do this to you, huh? Oh, that's it. You're done. Focus. It's been so long. <laughs> this is not how you play Happy Chaos, by the way. There's a lot, a lot more methodical than how I'm playing them. Dude, this is really difficult. I have to do a stupid input to reload and everything. Pizza. That's it. Oh, whoa! You did that new mechanic that I don't know how it works. Gun time! Ah! I can't block with my guns out, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't you run at me. I have a gun. I'm running at you with ill intent. <laughs> how do you block that many bullets? I have a bullet gauge. You can see how much bullets I have in my gun at any given time. And oh. I have to reload them too. See, now I'm out of bullets, so you can just run at me. So I, have to reload them I have to reload them one at a time. Go! I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's it. 
Oh my bang. god. Get up. Bang! Bang! Ah! He, he gold bursted me! I can't believe him, that's it. Stop kicking me. Please, I'm sorry. Don't come near me. <laughs> oh, why did I hit you? <laughs> why did I not hit him? I'm just cool. I'm the broken messiah, motherfucker. So what's this, like, bar next to my attention thing in the bottom left? So that is your threat gauge. How that works is well, it allows... Oh. See, is that full? So if you pull out your gun, you can shoot it longer. Or Thunderbird. That that moves fuck, by the way. Yeah? The one you just did. So that just determines how long you can use your gun or how long your drone stays out in the field. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I can't block so my gun's out. I forgot how to put it away. Oh, that's just chip damage. So even if I'm blocking, you can hurt me. Watch this. This isn't gonna hit me because guess what? This isn't what we call a reverse. Oh. Okay, that's not a reversal. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was a reversal. I'm wrong. This isn't gonna hit me. Oh fuck. No, you're probably gonna block. Oh, you're gonna back that instead. Yeah. It's not a reversal, as it turns out. It's, like I said, I'm washed. I don't remember a damn thing about this game. <laughs> Best two or three. It's also not your character. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. I should be able to beat him. He's getting stronger. I mean, it was a character that was added to the game after you stopped playing. Whoa. No, I played when he was in, in the roster. I'm gonna play really methodically and annoying. I'm gonna play honest. Ooh. The most oh, it's not a reversal. I keep forgetting it's not a reversal. I'm like, checkmate atheist, and then I lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't really know how to use the uh, gun they have. You're such an American. <laughs> oh. Bazinga! Did you hear the Bazinga part of the song? <laughs> no, I didn't. Battle cry, Bazinga! <laughs> I don't really know when the ghost hand is useful. It seems like... It's good to anti-air, so if I jump that... Oh, uh, yeah. It's a really good anti-air move, but that's pretty much it with him, I think. Uh oh. Whoa! I need to reload. Oh my god. Scary. You shot me all the way out of the map? I sure did. He's got a also, cool car. If you win his gold loose, you abduct people. I don't know if you noticed that. An alien a UFO abducts them, and then he doesn't even notice they got abducted. Oh. That's my Secretary of Defense right there. All right, side. He doesn't notice turn. they got abducted. Yeah, he like he gets a phone call, and then the person he defeats gets abducted, and they're screaming, "Help me!" <laughs> and then they get sucked. They, they get sucked up by the UFO, and he's like, mm, "I should order a pizza." And like, <laughs> That's he's great. like really confused. <laughs> Do I try Bedman again, or? Try someone else. Faust. Also, you're or... gonna pick my next character next time we fight, so. Okay, how about. Biking. Yeah, do biking. There's, a, there's mods that make her hair bigger. Even bigger? Yeah. They made her hair so much larger in this game compared to the other ones, it's actually really surprising how large her hair is. Really good physics on her hair.
Mm-hmm. A gigantic hair. I I love the physics. Of the hair. Of, of the, the hair. What the hell, hell are we? Was this her intro? Yeah. yeah it's like a samurai film. Whoa. It's Damn. also missing an arm. She's badass. What? Yeah, she lost it in the Gear Wars, I think. She's kind of cool. Try learning by doing. I agree. Versus Nagoriyuki. Dual one. Oh, two swords. Oh no, is cracking a bike in name? <laughs> is cracking a bike in name? Also, I no. think Viking's the shortest character in the roster. Really? Her hair makes her look taller, yeah. It's like her and Bridget are like the smallest characters. But her hair is just so huge. Oh. This is like 5 four. Oh, he just poked my fucking head off. <laughs> Range her uh, a little sword. Yeah, she's very close range. This special is up her close distance, too. She can put up a wall and stuff. Mm. Uh oh. Nice. I like how everyone's starting to use the pizza metaphor now. <laughs> Have pizza forward B. <laughs> Have pizza forward. Have pizza forward B. Y'all making me hungry for pizza, shit. Yeah, me too, actually. Thinking about Gold Lewis chopping up those pizzas. <laughs> that actually did break Frenzy's controller. Playing Gold Lewis actually broke two of his controllers. <laughs> because you have to make so many pizzas on those yeah. controllers. You have to make so many pizzas. You do! I agree. I'm going Bloodo mode. Yeah. If he goes Wait, blood mode, you can just block. You can just block Wait. and he'll just hurt. And then you run out and fuck him up. <laughs> should have done that when you were closer. Yeah, also, like, calling it out ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, when he's in the, well, you can tell when he's going to go blood mode, Karkin. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see his, uh, his mm. blood, his blood tension. <laughs> you can see his blood pressure, dude. He, he lowers his blood by uh, doing a bite attack and also hitting you with some normals. Oh. Yeah, so you just want to... I don't think Side knows how that works quite yet, so you're lucky he's just always going to blood. Um, <laughs> My god, he keeps gathering blood though. What was that? Ooh. The very controller just got really strong normals. Like especially the small run fundamentals. Yeah. She's the first character I made before I picked up uh, Ramlet Thrall. Who's Ramlet? Which one was, oh, that was the one with the two swords. Feet. Yeah, two swords. He's learning, oh. Chad. Look, he's learning! No. I'll say that. Oof. Ty, do you want to win this fight? I have advice for you. 
He all, whenever he's mid range, he always air dash. He's just six p. What's six p? Funny six p. It's six p. Catch it's phrase. forward punch. It's my it's my catchphrase. It's your anti air button. Check this shit out. He's I the input! Oh He's no, you jumped! <laughs> you jumped! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Dave is such cool like It does, it stuffs everything in this game. 6P is great in this game, chat. They jump one at you 6P, they poke you 6P. It's one to one, it's one to one. You clash 6P. You 6P, they 6P. Yeah, muddle mode is so dangerous. Oof. Oh no, 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 no! Don't go muddle mode! I beg you! <laughs> <laughs> That's so unfortunate, dude. <laughs> I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching my meter. Oof. Still make a habit, though. doing combos I don't know if they're intentional but he's doing them <laughs> it's oh fuck was so wait, it was like a perfect block or something that was a Roman cancel oh there's three types of Roman cancel in this game but I don't think there's enough time for me to even remotely teach you what they all do <laughs> oh nice Right again, it's time for your dick flattening. What? <laughs> He's gonna blood. You go blood mode. He's gonna try to super you, so just block until his blood's gone. Blood's gone. Okay, now go at him. How Eric, dare actually, you? I'm fuck him up. <laughs> How dare you? Oh. You have super turn butter, Kraken, when you get near him and just hit a button. The fuck is butter? <laughs> oh, he keeps pizza. saying butter, full, man. Full pizza, full pizzas, and hit buttons. Full pizza. I ain't full know that. Oh, that was close. That was like one hit. Yeah. Really good fight. Family size pizzas. <laughs> yeah, please say family size pizzas. Wait, so butter is full is is full pizza? Yeah, I just spam when I say turn butter, I'm just saying hit buttons, Are but like ready? spin your spin your make a roll of pizza? Make pizza? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just making a pizza. I'm just saying just hey, try to hit buttons until your super comes up. Oh, um, Vikings is like, Vikings Super is like double. I'm, I'm fighting you as pot, so you better pick something good. <laughs> uh, who do I want to lose good in luck. today? Um, I want funny uh, Jacko. Funny Jacko. Oh, I can't beat. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> I don't know how to play funny Jacko. No, that Jacko is like really hard to play. <laughs> She's a zoner. Oh, well, no, she's, I don't like she throws puppets. She's not a zoner. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of, I guess. She's a little weird. She's Here, I'll play some. Range. I'll play something weird then. I don't want to. Chat, who am I playing? Who am I playing? Testament. Okay, I'm playing. I'm playing them then. How do I throw my? Uh, how do I throw my goo? 
Hold on. What's what's the what's how do I turn my goo? Uh, how do I make my goo? -woo? What what goo? -woo. Yeah, there's this skin. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, what 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 skin is the goo? -woo? <laughs> Boone will just say the most crazy shit and then follow it up with you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The white goo. How do I make the goo white? Ah, whatever. I'll just do default. Are you ready? All right, I'm Wait. ready. Check out the face in this picture. Yeah, you can take off her mask. Oh. Oh, cost you nine? Ah, oh, it's too late. Thank you, though. Man. Dual one. Let's rock. Oh, there's the oh, Jacko pose. Okay. All right, so what's the... Oh. So you can kick those at me, and ah. then you can tell them to attack me. Go. Your your win condition is to get as many of those out. You can have up to three out at the same time. They can only be hit, be hit twice before they die. Um, if I hit you, they go away. Your game plan is to get as many of those out as you possibly can and make them attack me. Your um, mm -hmm. I think to make them attack, it's a pizza, a quarter pizza if something. If you uh do crouch and, and X near one of them when they're out, you can pick them up and then. Forward and then attack well, no, just you making them like attack. Because you can like make Pikmin. you can make them attack like Pikmin. Oh, mm. two, two, one, four. Uh, yeah. So it's just quarter pizza, uh, backwards quarter pizza. I don't know which okay. button though. Maybe backwards quarter pizza punch. Oh wait, there we go. Attack command is uh, quarter circle backwards A. You wanna boy me? Fine, we'll boy. Oh my god. You gotta god. make your butter and then you can eat half a Chicago pizza. Okay, alright, I'm listening. A Chicago a pizza. None beef. <laughs> What's this button do? Whoa! Oh! Bad I'm dog. Maybe the upper one. <laughs> my girlfriend. Oh. My two weed smoking girlfriends. <laughs> oh, that's oh my god. So fucking cool. Yeah. Oh, double pizza? Okay, gotcha. Did you hear the bazinga? You missed the bazinga. I think I heard the bazinga actually. Bazinga! It was bazinga! No! I'm gonna be really mean to you, actually. <laughs> gonna... Danger. Danger. Oh my god. Oh wait, you don't even know what that does. Is that, like, oh, sending them all after you? Sure that powers up her, her minion, so... Pretty much mm. his character is just playing Pikmin, uh, but sadly it's really hard to play her. Yeah. She's one of the harder characters to play. You can switch. We can switch to a different character and fight again. Yeah. I'll let you do that. She's very. Um, she's very based around those little puppets, and it's super hard to use her. God, I want pizza so bad, dude. I want pizza. Bro. Yeah, I'm probably gonna order pizza after this fight. It's like midnight here, so I'm not gonna order a pizza. It's almost bedtime. <laughs> you know what I mean. Do you think Bedman would let you sleep on him? I don't think so. Would he tuck you in? Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Okay, fight me one more time and then fight Cypher one more time. Oh god, why'd you switch to, to, to Potemkin? Because I won't. <laughs> you just want to flex. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you can switch characters if you're having a hard time. Switches to his yeah. lane. I'm only good. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be Mega pistol. <laughs> oh my god. Come here. I like that big hand attack. It is a really good attack. Walk in the park! Oof. Oh my good god. <laughs> this is what you were trying to do? I was just looking around for a bit. Okay. Time to do car backwards, make a piss. Oh, fuck, it's been so long, I can't even do that anymore. Dracula flow. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. What am I gonna do, Parker? You ruined it! He's, he's a big bully. I understand now. Yeah, grapplers in Arc System are Yeah. This is what made Strippin' Ulta 4 and uninstall the game. <laughs> yeah, I actually caused Sam. There's a clip of it actually, if anyone can find it. You freed him. I freed him? <laughs> I made him never play the game again off of no, one No, actually, combo. Wait, that's worse. You made him go back to League of Legends. <laughs> no, oh my no, God. you're right. <laughs> it worse than death. Are you ready? All right, I think I'll play this next fight, and then I'll watch you two fight, and I order pizza, and then uh, okay. I'm, so instead of I'm down to, to stop soon, but beasts, keep going too if you want. Hell. Whatever you guys feel like. I'm just getting a little sleepy. Yeah, full pizza or half pizza? I'm yeah, wait. fucking pizza, dude. Yeah. It has... Yeah, order a, a quarter oh, circle pizza. <laughs> quarter circle. I saw you just try to hit her. <laughs> that little girl has no place in this battle. Uh oh. Oof. What's my special? Uh. I don't know. Turn butter and find out. Turn butter. Make a pizza. Make a full pizza. Family sized pizza. <laughs> oh! I, oh, I did it a miss though. What does it, it do? What does that do, chat? I have no idea what that does. It's an install. Chat, I don't know what that means. Uh, it, it's how you get programs on your computer. Yeah. Oh. It like powers you up. Yeah, 
This song says a lot about society. Society. I was about to say. Society. This is Potemkin's theme. Destroy. You know that half the Arxis songs in this game, uh, half the songs made by Dice Day, the lyrics are, um, they're about clowns. The song really? brings up clowns, yeah, this song is about being a clown. <laughs> Not half, he does say uh, he's a silly clown. I'm a fool, I'm a silly clown. There's a lot of songs that have the word clown in it, though, you have to admit, there's quite a few. Doggy! That dog saved the world. You know, I'm glad. Hero. I'm glad you won, cause the dog won. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Duel one. Let's rock. Ow. It's crazy. I'm running through this floor, and I know some of these players. Yeah, because it's an empty park until chat started running. Well, some of them are just from different floors I played on, but not even from viewers. They're just probably streams I've been out, but... Now, that, that, that groundhog is actually kind of sick. Whoa. It's super unsafe, though. <laughs> it's super unsafe if you whip that move. Whoa. What the? Oh. What was that? Well, my little hat. demon guy fucking gooped up my hat, dude. Why'd he do that? Because he'd be holding my sword in his mouth all day. Oh, okay. He's like, I had enough. Mm -hmm. One break. So if it, depending on how much health you have, you have like a different like victory thing? Yes, I think so. Like I think there is different there's animations for if you like- There's just random different animations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And depending on the encounter, do they have different voice lines? Yeah, there's like specific intros between like characters that know each other. Oh, interesting. Unique dialogue and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just random, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it, with, with different characters, they have different moves on. No! Uh, <laughs> the ground slam! I love ground slam. That poor guy's just trapped inside of a body of a bed portrait forever. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> he seems like he's making the most of it, I don't know. He's, he's definitely living large for a bed. Well, he's not even a king size bed, he's just a person. Yeah. It seems like a hospital bed. Or is he not even that? I don't know, would you rather be bed ridden oh or be the bed, you know? <laughs> yeah, I haven't really thought about it that way. Yeah, and really Oh my god, you are out with a vengeance this time. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be tucked in or the person that comes? <laughs> you know, like, wait. This bed tucks back, bro. It's scary. Mm -hmm. I am the one who tucks. Keep whipping my super. Slash. <laughs> Yeah, Bedman can give people like nightmares or something. Like he can like literally dox your mind from a thousand miles away and give you bad dreams. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Society. Society. Destroy. Or Discord.
Oh. Fighting for my life out here. He's missed so far. Woo. Nicely done. Close one. Good fight. Please, let's see the dog again. Oh, they pinned the clip of me making Sam never play the game again. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> it's the only thing I have over Sam. But yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the only, anytime he's like, "Oh yeah, well you suck." Anytime he like owns me, I just bring you up gotta that clip. Take your little victories, you know. It's yeah. the only thing I have on him. <laughs> it's everything else he's just better at. I'm literally going to order a pizza now. Oh, dude, I want a pizza so bad. Dude, my, my fingers are like, like, you know, tingling. Yeah, I, I get it. I feel it. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. I'm glad this game is fucking amazing. Can you spectate in these lobbies at all? Yeah, this game got a lot of people into fighting, fighting games. games. I don't yeah. think you can mm. spectate. I think we have to make a private room for that. No. This is my favorite fighting game of all time. It's the only one I've really ever played. Oh, hell yeah. We need a private room? Damn. Making a private room is not hard. I am. I'm just a silly guy. I'm really silly. You're really silly. Really silly. Really silly. Watermelon. Your brain has been so like ground down by TikTok. Dude, I think it's made me more strong because since I've started, I've been sending TikTok no. to everyone. <laughs> no, I've been sending TikTok. Depending on how I feel, I have tick. I'm like TikTok horoscoped. So I see a TikTok, I'm like, this is such a, this is a Psy TikTok, or this is a Kraken TikTok, and I'll just send it to them, and, and no one will say anything. I'll just keep sending TikToks to people. <laughs> like, it I... says a lot because because you have not sent me a single one, which means no TikTok is for me. I, did, oh. you me on, did you follow me on TikTok? <laughs> I, I followed no, Boone recently, follow and I've gotten you. like four, and I didn't well, know. That's the problem. I didn't know that you even could get DMs. From, so I like checked in on TikTok like three weeks later, and there's just like, a new TikTok from Boone from like two hours ago. <laughs> they just keep coming. They're good. Though. Okay. I mean, like I liked, I like them though. Okay, so I don't, fine. I'll follow you on I TikTok. Do it. See, 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 here's the thing. I can't. I don't have enough time to communicate how I'm feeling to people in time nowadays. Especially since <laughs> so I don't have a computer. Do it through TikTok. You I just send. You would spend hours watching TikTok. <laughs> That's the only way. I need to unwind, and the only way I can communicate with my friends is by sending them the the Mulch Gang TikTok, so they know that I'm doing. I do okay. love Mulch Gang. I will say I yeah. like Mulch Gang. I right. love Mulch Gang. I can do one more. I don't understand okay. That shit. Let me play. Uh... You don't understand it. So there's these little dogs that have funny no, I... haircuts. <laughs> Kraken, you don't understand. When I went, when I was traveling recently, I took a, a train up to Portland and I hung out with Boone for a day. And we were in a hotel room for four hours and he was playing Mr. Beast on the TV and showing me mulch TikToks on his phone. I thought hell. you liked them! You were acting <laughs> like they were really funny! You were acting like- he just wanted to make you happy, dude. He wanted to make you happy. I was trying- well, it was either that- he didn't want to go like golfing or do anything that normal what people do. Golfing? Golfing? Yeah! It was like- Like mini golf. I asked you where the good places to go at the time you said, I don't know. <laughs> you want to get a burger? We got a burger and went to an anime store. And then watched Mulch Game. Yeah. That sounds like a good night, actually. Oh my god, you chill. You the worst move in the game? Bro, welcome chill, bro. The, welcome, to, welcome to this old bad guy mix-up. Oh what god. am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Are what you kidding me, dude? 
What am I gonna do? <laughs> Dumb. Welcome to the smell of the game, Kraken. <laughs> Everything in this world is standing slash attack. What am I doing? Is it a frame trap? I like that you showed me how cool this game could be, and then you're ending on a, you know, by the way. Yeah, by showing you how lame this yeah. game could be. <laughs> this game is very honest. <laughs> <laughs> this game is the most honest game that's I can think one, of. That's the most fighting game player <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> what a bore he says when he wins. Are you kidding me? <laughs> fight, I'm good, fight, thanks. No, no, fight Cypher one more time, please. Just please. fucking pounded him into fight. the corner. Yeah, this guy's really fair, actually. He's like moves, like he's <laughs> very, really reactable. <laughs> now you, now you see why they call him so bad guy. It's not because he's actually a bad guy. He's just like the people that the, play him are the bad guys. Yeah, I get no, it. Yeah, exactly. The people who play him are actually the bad guys. He's he's got a good spirit, you know. Even though he's killed his wife five times, but he's got a good spirit. Well, his wife was evil at the time. Is the thing. Well, yeah, he didn't have a choice. Kill what? His wife turned into a Gundam that was gonna kill the world. That Gundam was yeah. actually really hot. Yeah. 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 Dual one. Ooh. I'm so this, this is uh, Bridget's theme. Oh. Yeah! Holy! He's got it down, dude. Woo! Get this guy up to floor eight at least. <laughs> I think that, I feel like he'd, he'd be a Faust main. Yeah, I, I think Faust has been yeah. the most fun. Okay. Your you're, you're Faust tilt pretty hard, dude. You do be Faustin. Be like. Oh. Imagine how good you'd be at knittings with gloves, with like fingers like that. <laughs> Don't slip. <laughs> oh, if you want to see how tall he really is, if you hit his taunt button, he stands up perfectly straight, and it's terrifying. It's like the most menacing pose because he stands up at like nine, nine feet and a half, like foot tall, dude. It's actually insane. Also, in an excerpt, the, the game before this one, if you taunt and someone jumps into his taunt, it can kill you. Oh shit! It, really? He pulls out. Yeah, he pulls off his paper bag, and you see a silhouette of his bald head, and it glows. And right when it like starts to shine, it it does damage to you <laughs> if you jump That's into cool. it. Yeah. Wins. Duel three. Let's I want to see this guy ult more. Well, we can watch a YouTube video of every single character he does is super cool. The Quirk and the time, but I don't think he does. Well, I, I just wish I knew how to do it more consistently. But... Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh... That's, yeah, that's the problem. I mean, there Good are, time. like, other tutorials built into the game. Like, there are, like, combo trials that will, like, let you... Show you a little yeah. This game has a, it's very accessible, and it's mm -hmm. surprising. And like, I know there's a lot of like people. I'm not a fighting play. game guy, and I got into this back yeah. when it was new. It is I mean, like, I'm a guy who like I like the idea of fighting games like casually, but I've never like learned them, you know. But you can. Yeah. But you not funny guy says the Smash guy. <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> Says the Marth main. Yeah, Listen, all I'm is saying the... is, did you guys see Amsa won a major this year? That was pretty hype. So you really are the Bill Nye the Smash guy of, of the game, <laughs> dude. You, quiet. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. <laughs> Oh my god, he's got a vengeance this time. It's Boon filling me with rage. <laughs> I'm doing it to empower you so you can beat Faust, okay? 
That's so anime. Oh, I almost got him back. I don't. I'm not a Marth mage yet because I don't play Smash. I just follow the, the easy. Oh, the Smash guy doesn't play Smash. Likely story. Uh, whatever. So I just calm down because yes. guess what? Mega Man drops. All right, we gotta stop, seven, dude. Seven, you, you gotta stop. Listen. Stop taunting him, dude. He's fucking popping off as soon as it's happening. I, I was doing all right, but now no longer, dude. I remember. Oh my place. god! <laughs> He's like, call me a Smash guy one more time. <laughs> Go on ahead, try me. I remember that if I throw my swords into the corner, they blow up. Well, I'll go out on the perfect. That was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> devastating. <laughs> Here, I'll watch I didn't the clip. mean to devastate you twice. No, yeah, you're right. I should get uninstall. If you watch right. that clip, you cannot tell Sam we watched this clip, okay? <laughs> I'm surprised yeah, all, he hasn't deleted all of the people it. Clipped by right Boone, now. it is just a smile. <laughs> by Boone. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know I you clipped that. Back and clipped Did I do that? Yourself. Did I do you that? You went back and clipped making his friend rage quit and uninstall a game. And then remembered oh. it two years later. Oh, I got a, a mind read on him, dude. He got destroyed. Uh, all right, let's see. He's gonna he's gonna find out. There's no way he doesn't find out. No, that is nice, dude. I'm not mad. Woo! <laughs> I'm not even mad, dude, he says. <laughs> He's Moments like, before uninstalling. He like bit his fingers out of just... <laughs> that was genuine. All right. Thank you for uh, for teaching me. And, you know, like, honestly, I am more interested in, in learning this game. Yeah! I've, uh, gone through this, so I'm, who knows? I... Dude, I might want to play this game again, like actually stream it again, because I fucking love this game, you dude. There we um, go. I've, I've followed your TikTok, Boone. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it, dude. You should definitely play it more. Winks at you. Yeah, thank you for showing me the good and the bad and the ugly of this in a very <laughs> short amount of time. <laughs> you know, you, you warned me you were going to be a terrible teacher, and I think... A few moments there, you were a really good teacher. So I think you did better than Once you said. the pizza came out. Yeah, it's all yeah. in the pizza, dude. It's all in the pizza. The pizza I can't, I, I can't say 21645B because you'll get confused, you know? <laughs> all right, well, I'm going a, I'm to a skadoodle and actually get Cyber a fucking a buffer was pizza. Really, yeah, true. Because yeah. <laughs> get so, someone who is like kind of like played fighting games before, but not really. And then Boone, who's like crazy at fighting games. I'm only good at like, like a three good step characters. ladder of experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really helpful. Thanks for playing, guys. I really no appreciate problem. it. Yeah, it's fun. All right. Thank I'll see you guys right. soon. Bye Have bye. a good Thanksgiving. Bye. Oh, bye yeah. Bye. You too. Oh, wait. It's Thanksgiving? Fuck. Wait. When's that? Thursday. Happen? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, just like the Mega Man album. All right. I got to go. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> that was nice. Thanks again for the sponsorship, by the way. Uh, guys, check out Guilty Gear Strive, exclamation ARC SW if you want to see all the games that are on sale um, for Black Friday. And, you know, it's just a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. I knew I would enjoy it, but I, I enjoyed it also because my friends were nice enough to beat my ass for two hours. So <laughs> it's a good time. Um, I am going to send you guys over to Momo, who's playing Lethal Company. I might pop in at some point later tonight um, if she's still going late uh, to play with. But um, we will be back. Uh, I'm taking tomorrow off and Thanksgiving off to spend time with family for Thanksgiving. But I'll be back on Friday with either some more FMV or um, Lethal Company. So one of those two. So I hope you have a great 
Thanksgiving, everybody. Have a great two nights um, to yourself, and I will see you very soon. Okay? All right. Happy mulch giving all. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should start using TikTok. I don't know. Maybe I should maybe I should learn it. Get in touch with the new generation. No? Are you guys all bitter? You're all just bitter old people? Happy Turkey Belly Day. Yeah, I'll, I'll no, I I was gonna say I'll take a picture of my turkey belly, but I'm not gonna do that. That seems like a bad thing to promise, so I'm not gonna do that. That would be weird, yeah. I'll just send one to Charboard. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, go enjoy some scrapping. Might see you there later. And, uh, ew. <laughs> Boone, Boone, I need you to send me more TikToks. I need you to fix my algorithm. Make it, make it funny. You're on it? Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Also, shout out Boone. Oh God, I'm running out of time. If you haven't already, please follow Boone. Great friend of mine, awesome streamer. Streams all the time. I gotta run. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye bye. Have a good Thanksgiving.